Hi, good morning, we're back. We, uh, we resume. Wait, did we make it to cycle 90 yesterday? Oh my goodness. That's a lot of cycles. Anyway, we were doing some good uh, science yesterday, and we will continue to hopefully do some good science today and maybe not lose anybody along the way like we did um, yesterday. We lost a couple of brave dupes. We we're in the middle of uh, digging this out, this whole area out, so that we can drop some of this carbon dioxide down. Um, we currently have a lot of carbon dioxide pooling at the bottom of the uh, of the base, which is keeping this chlorine gas in a uh, in kind of a awkward spot here too, isn't it? It really is. We've got kind of a. Um, a contour of where we want to like uh, keep it keep it cool for the colony, right? We want to keep the keep the heat down, keep our dupes um, nice and comfortable. And there's certain farms and stuff that will need some cooler temperatures as well, right? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's to 180 cycles. Thank you so much, uh, Subject uh, Razy One. Thanks. How much did you miss? You missed a whole day yesterday. We did this yesterday in in uh, in more or less like a day, a well, stream day, like seven, eight hours or so. Right. Um, I guess we want to keep digging, and uh, we'll want to dig up at some point as well. I don't know what we're going to do with all this carbon dioxide. I mean, we could just start storing it. I, I don't really want to store a lot of carbon dioxide, but I suppose... At least if we store it and we put it somewhere, we can either use it or just vent it when we're ready. I mean, it's not, uh, it's not, it's not that big of a deal, right? It doesn't, or it doesn't have to be that big of a deal. And then it'll make it a little, a little bit more breathable down here until we get to like high temperature areas where, yeah, we'll definitely need atmo suits. We shouldn't really need them until we get to like, uh, you know. Like I said, like those those like higher temperature areas, like maybe uh, closer to. Uh... Oh, this one's dormant right now. Apparently, might be a good time to get in there. I I think to uh, I think to do the research on these vents, we'll probably need ammo suits, right? Maybe not this one so much, but certainly um, this one. It's pretty hot in here, so we'll probably need it for that. Um, and then we need to figure out a way of cooling this water down, which there's some options for, but. We'll figure it out, eh? We were having some problems with food yesterday as well, but I think, hopefully, um, today once they get going. Oh no, we're ending the day with uh, 7,000 cacals. Hopefully we'll have some um, food to harvest tomorrow. We, we should do, by the looks of it. We should do. We should be okay. should be able to get through another day. If not... We'll have to crack some more eggs and stuff. I think. It probably doesn't help that we're feeding um, hatches. Um... Meal lice as well, which is what we're also eating. But if I just plant more of it, we should be, we should be okay, I think. I think we just simply plant more of it, you know? That's, uh, that's always, uh, that's always got to be the solution. Did Dowie do a mountain collapsing on him? No, he has not. As far as I know, he's not dead at least. So, even if he did do a mountain collapsing on him, it didn't. It didn't finish him off. It didn't, it didn't kill his. It didn't kill his ass. So, that's good. That the ethanol is going everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna have to um, scoop it up and do something with it. We could probably, uh, we can use it for fuel, apparently. I've never used it as, as fuel before, but also, um, it looks like we could potentially use it for some coolant as well, maybe? We'll drink it, yeah. Foot Sandwich could, could always drink it, as per the suggestion. That might be good. What's happening with this? Oh, this air is going to get really chilly. Okay, what's coming out of here? Maybe some food? Oh yeah, look at this spicy, 12,000 kcals worth of spicy tofu. I think we need it. 
Okay, good. That'll give us a little bit of a food buffer, which uh, we kind of need, right? Edible? Spicy tofu? Let's put it in here so it doesn't go bad. Just a quick double out of our um, cacals. I think we need it. We need to. We need to double up. Double up on the old cacals. Okay, we can we can dig out this slime. I think it's fine. Just keep digging out this whole area, let all of this carbon drop. We're going to run out of um, polluted water soon, so we're going to need to probably pump some of this stuff up into here. I mean, we could start pumping some of this stuff out. There's quite a bit of it. Looks like there's quite a bit down here, too. And then there's, uh, there's a decent amount down here that we could start pumping, too. Okay, let me cancel these... Um, these jobs for now then so that we can keep it pooled in here and then we can just um, we can sort it right we'll just sort it out all right let's get some power down here that'd be good and let's also get some pipe down here this is for it to go out so we're gonna want to bridge this up and over we're gonna need a um, we're gonna need a um, well liquid bridge, but we're also gonna need to have a liquid filter. So this liquid filter can go here, and we are going to pump out polluted water. We can join that up to there. This can go through here, and then uh, everything else can um, probably just be dumped back down into there, unless we want to put it somewhere else. Do we want to put it somewhere else? I don't know if I want this filter here even. I guess it's probably the best spot for it off to the side, right? Oh, hang on a second. Need to open up the lower farm so the chlorine gas can get out. I think it should just um, get pushed out. I think it'll eventually just get pushed pushed out. I I want to keep the insulation here because of the uh, the heat around here. It's quite hot down here. It's 34 degrees. If we open it up, then we'll let some heat into the base, which I want to try to avoid. Um, right, where was I? Sorry, I was making. Um, Oh yeah, we need to we need to vent out the uh, the rest of this uh, water, right? I think we just rent. We'll just vent it back to where it is for now. We just want the polluted water from this, so any uh, actual water and and brine can just um, fall back down on it. I think that's fine. All right, we'll do that. We need the polluted water for the um, for these trees, the arbor trees, right? The lumber we're using it for um, for power, alongside the um, coal. All See, look, I think it'll shift. I think as this drops down, it'll start to shift. Do 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 do. Alright, so this is going to be um, polluted water. Where is it? Where is it? Liquid. 
liquid polluted water polluted water there we go okay so polluted water will go out into here it looks like uh oh yeah look we're processing some slime so we're getting a little bit of uh polluted water from that too i think pol i think processing the slime is fine i i mean we could use the slime for mushrooms but i don't know i think we're fine we're not we've got 17 kcals though which is is better than what we've had recently <laughs> our food situation is no good Doo -doo 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 -doo. Once this drops a bit, this will all um, this will all move out. It just has nowhere to go right now, so it's not moving. Once this drops even just a little bit, it'll it'll move and it'll be fine. It, it's 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 better already. Look, there's there's a bit of oxygen in there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I'm going to drop all this down. I'll try to keep that intact as well. What's here? Oh. Okay, let's uproot these. I don't want to vent out the room with the um, with the plants. I just want to. I want this chlorine to just move along in a sec. I don't want to start putting vents in and and heat and all that. It'll it'll move. Once this once this drops more, it, it'll it'll move out, and then we'll try to figure out what we can do with the carbon dioxide, or just keep dropping it down to the bottom. Well, there's loads of slime down here. You want to see my piss pit? I got a couple of piss pits actually. I got one piss pit here, and then we've got like a, we've got kind of like a temporary piss pit here. Lots of piss pits. I think we can almost get the uh, their bodies actually. Zerko and Bluebo both died of suffocation down here. <laughs> They've been preserved in this carbon for uh, for quite some time. Where can we put um, some graves for them? Can you even make graves? Park sign, pedestal. We could put their dead bodies on a pedestal. You want to put their dead bodies in an ice block? I don't even know if you can. Where does it come under? Tasteful memorial. Here you go. Provides a final resting place for deceased duplicants. Living duplicants will automatically place an unburied corpse inside. Okay, where's a good where's a where's a good spot for uh, for all of our fallen fallen brothers? And sisters. We'll have to think about it. We can make it out of... Uh, we can make it out of granite for some extra uh, decor as well. We got loads of granite. Tons of this stuff. Okay, let's put them here. For now. You can always move them later, right? It'd just be good to get them... Get them out of the way. Oh, hey, look, who's, th who's this? It's time to wrangle. It's time for a little wrangle.
Bury the corpses in the water supply? No. Uh, no, that's gross. What if it? Uh, what if it pollutes the water supply? What if you find? What if you're you're going to get some water one day and like a you know a, a fingernail comes up? Wow, these are harvested already. That's wild. What if you notice just like a bit of fingernail? Wow, the um, the water filter is 120 watts. That's crazy. The decaying fat will make the water soapy and great for a wash. Cause it'll come like uh, preloaded with soap. That's exciting, actually. That is pretty exciting. Okay. Skills? Beard Daddy? We can give him some more construction. He's skilled up. Let's make him even uh, better. Captain Payne? Oh my god. Okay, let's give you uh, some, some good decorating here since you've got all the morale you need. And um, let's give you um, carrying and supplying as well. Here you go. Look at that. Look at this. Improved carrying too. That is great. We can go into um, into uh, exosuit training. What about you? You are just carrying. And let's also give you... This guy likes just about everything. This is great. Okay, let's give him uh, hard digging as well. We can also give him super hard digging. We can also give him uh, super duper hard digging. Nice. Okay, Carnese, that's great. With your uh, extra uh, carrying um, capacity as well. Really good. We can give him Applied Science Research Materials Study Terminal. Get him into Astronomy later as well. Dovendir. We want Demolition Building. It's a little bit too close though. Maybe just give him this. Since he loves that. Uh, Dowie's doing pretty good. Let's give him improved carrying as well. And Erica already has it. Wow, look at... Erica's morale is just insane right now. 27 morale. What the hell? Foot sandwich? You can have this as well. Carrying. And it's also already uh, a mechatronics engineer. Very good. That's nice. Okay, good. So many skills. Holy crap. Okay, look, it's starting to uh, to drop a bit. There'll be some room for this chlorine to move over any minute now. We are producing more carbon with the uh, with the coal uh, generator, but you know, it's the way she goes. They love the pickles. They love the pickles. Oh. Okay, we're making some tasteful memorials here. Okay, Blue Bow's been delivered. I guess they can go and get the other guy now, too. Since we have access. Zirko. That's great. Delivered a thousand grams of dead Zircoke to the memorial um, place. That's great. We've got eggs, but don't really need them. Shipping? Automation? Research? Okay, let's get... Um, where is this thing here? There is a, I think it's in, is it solid transport? It could be solid transport. Artificial friends? Sweepy's dock and rover's module? Robotic tools? Space program? Notification systems? Celestial detection? 
I think we'll start getting into uh, solid transport here, right? Would be good. And then following that, we're probably going to want metal tiles and metal refinery. Start doing some of that stuff. Low resistance conductors. Fossil fuels, we still haven't done anything with yet. Renewable energy. I think we're currently sweeping up um, eggs, but we want to kind of... Um, I think we want to bring eggs and drop them uh, in these... Um, these habitat places, right? And then they can just hatch in there. We got some more polluted water trickling down here too. Which is not a bad thing. We got the... Uh, we got the vesh, the 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 vesh, the me, the mesh vent for it. All right, let's get this thing built so we can start pumping some of this out of here. They all want to work on this stuff so bad. Beard Daddy almost finished it. Okay, we're pumping. We're pumping just in time. And then we're leaving all the uh, brine and everything else uh, behind. Okay, our food is uh, is is doing a lot better now. Oh, twenty four thousand um, kcal's. Hopefully, we can um, <clears throat> get a bit more as well. Be good. Just finish digging out some of this stuff. There's another um, computer uh, thingy down here. Where? Um, where are we going to store these data banks? We should probably put them uh, near the computer, right? Let's get them stored in this uh, storage bin. We'll build it here. Ice, oxalite, <coughs> suit, building, supplying, and decorating, and an animal lover, but um, stress reaction is banshee and has a bottomless stomach, which is probably not very good right now. Binge eater is small bladder. I guess we'll just grab this for now. Okay, so we're gonna have Dara data banks. Let's go collect up all those data banks. Hey, look at this. We're finally burning some wood. That's so much wood. We need the extra the extra power. We need to um we need to get some of this um this water moved up here too. So this this is getting a little bit empty. I don't know if there's normal water in here. No, it doesn't look like it. We could process some water. It'd be good to get some toilets and stuff uh, up and running as well, right? Some better toilets, I mean. Some plumbed, plumbed toilets.
These digging jobs are just taking so long, but it's because we don't have um, suits. I think we can make... Um, I think there's a, the possibility of gas masks. We can make some gas masks. Which I don't think need reed fiber. She'll just let them breathe a little bit longer in all of this um, CO2. Or we just... Uh, we actually just start hoovering it all up and storing it somewhere for now. It's refined metal for a gas mask. do it. We want to pump um, CO2 from the bottom. Ideally. Probably. Point four five kilowatts. Okay, and then we'll have um, we'll need a gas filter up here too, right? For this, and then we can just uh, vent everything else out. Could just empty it out that side if we ever need it. So I think we can use it for some fuel and stuff for rockets at some point. doing for slime lung we're okay actually it looks like all of the uh, slime has uh, been chucked into this thing and we got a good amount of polluted water in here now for these trees which are um, it's too hot in here or it's not hot enough 15 to 40 degrees oh, weird. Should be okay. Oh yeah, it's getting a little bit chilly. Oh, it's because this polluted water is um, is so cold, I think. Yeah, it's like three degrees. We may need to actually warm it up in there.
Mm. Well, with a lot of this um, this cooler water, we could, uh, especially when there's more of it in here, we could use it to cool down some of this water. And then get it up here, right? Would be good. We'll need to get some soon. We're running low. We won't be able to make any um, any oxygen. That's where that's where all of our oxygen is coming from. I think I've got a bit of um, filtration, but actually we can just put some more pumps and stuff down here, right? I think we're just making lots of CO2 with this uh, power here as well. Gas pipe. So this is going to be... Um, carbon. Yes. Look at these hard workers. Look at these hard workers working so hard. Okay, we're pumping. Is Dowie leading the pack? I think so, yeah. Working, working hard or hardly working? Hello? We got some more fungal spores. We got some mallow seeds. We have um, Ashcan here who's uh, good at supplying a gourmet and a green thumb, but he won't do any... Um, Artistry, but he's a binge eater. This guy can't do... Um, oh, man. Okay, I guess we'll just go with this for now. Even though, you know... What's the heat like here? It's quite cold down here, actually. Might be able to open this... Up and let it trickle down into a into a pool where it can potentially cool down a little bit before we move it, or get a tank ready to receive it, and then get all the stuff that we need in there to start pumping it, and then maybe we can dump some of the heat over here, warm it up a little bit along the way. No, I haven't reached the surface yet. Look at all of this carbon. So much of it. It'll be nice to uh, to get some of it out of here, though. And then we can replace what uh, comes out of there with uh, oxygen instead. Would be really good.
can make it about this this size for now, right? It should be fine. We get a hot tub. We we can eventually get one, yeah. I I mean, not straight away though. I I I wouldn't have thought we need one straight away. Of all the things that we could be building right now, I'm not sure hot tub is the one. Yeah, we've got a little bit of stress. I think it's Carnies, who's hungry with soggy feet. Low oxygen. We're putting. We're we're really getting these people um, close to their limits. You know, they're not happy. He might not even have a bed, no. How many do we have? We have eight dupes and six beds. No, there's a good chance that the, he does not have a bed. We'll have to give him a temporary bed. We're trying to do too many things at once here, I think. We're not focused. And we're out of food again as well. There's some food to harvest at least, but... I didn't expect to run out of uh, water so quick, actually. There's a little bit up here still. Most of it dropped down here, though, because of some sand. We got a little bit of food coming in. A bunch of it's growing today. Put his bed in the in the carbon. No, 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 no. Look, we're gonna get some just some temporary beds here for these two. Try to relieve some a little bit of this stress if possible. It's climbing though. <laughs> Is this thing still pumping? It's pumping. 
There's still uh, lots of carbon dioxide down here. Okay, we should be... We should be okay, just barely. <laughs> Beds above a chlorine cloud? Yeah, it's, you get that, that nice pool smell. That's always nice, isn't it? Look at all the chlorine in that room. <laughs> it's that's not ideal. What does this mean? This colony is about to hit cycle 100. Oh, is that is it like a congratulations sort of thing? Dovendir has maximum stress almost. No, he's sixty percent stressed. Maybe he'll feel a bit better now that he's had a sleep in a bed. Hooray! I love that. Reach cycle one hundred with at least one living duplicate. We did it. <laughs> get everything powered up so that we can start pumping. We need to resume pumping. This is hot water. That is some hot, hot-ass water. It's in the right place, though. It's already hot around here. Is there any water up here? Brine? Our filtration medium currently is sand, right? We would be using sand. There's a bunch of polluted water over here. There's some fresh water here. Again, there's a little bit up here. And there's some down here. I guess we I guess we're going to need to tap into this some point anyway, right? So we might as well grab it. There's quite a bit of water there, too. We just gotta cool it down. This bad boy's erupting. Oh. Bristleberry? 4,800 kcals? <laughs> I think we're gonna have to take it. <laughs> so food, food situation is not very good. All right, it's a little bit better. We've reduced the stress down a little bit, thankfully. It looks like this this uh, chlorine is starting to drop a little bit. That's good.
The desalinator doesn't require sand to work. Desalinator is the one that um, separates um, salt water and, and brine into into just normal water. Okay, we, so far we've filled up one tank with um, carbon dioxide. And there's still many more to fill. It's trying to... Um... Oh no, it's not trying to vent anything. It's only CO2 coming... It's tough for them to work down here. There's no air. You gotta work fast. Oh, that looks so cool. Look how it's like it's like sucking it in. That's neat. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. It looks really good. Alright, stress is back to 81%. Food is not looking hot. Especially with it being almost the end of the day. People are going to be wanting to eat. We need at least 8,000 kcal at the end of each day. That's not enough. <laughs> Fucking food. Growth halted. Trunk health. What does that mean? Growth will resume when conditions improve? Okay, everything looks to be fine, so... Was it just like a delay after not meeting one of those... One of the things? Oh, temperature again. 15 to 40. Oh, pardon me, the hydroponic farm is 14.6. So actually just um, cooling this water on this polluted water will um, will solve this problem as well, right? And hopefully cool the, cool the water enough before it goes into the thing. Okay, the, it's starting, the level's starting to go down. It's taking a while, but... No, they just can't work. It, it's like, it, it just, they, they can't do it. There's like no time for them to do it. Stations? Crafting station? Okay. 
I think you make um, gas masks here. There might be some research that we need to do with it around it as well. Is it like in here? The the uh, gas meter valve, portable gases, oxygen mask. Yeah. Okay. So we need this stuff here. I can't make exosuits. I have no reeds. I think we need a swampy um, planetoid to get reeds from. Alright, we're harvesting plants. This is good. There's a lot of them growing. We should hopefully have enough food for everybody tonight. Okay, that research is done. Good. It's going down! It's finally going down a little. We almost have enough food for everybody. Not quite, still. I think some's being cooked. Or they're just eating it as they go. So we can make an oxygen mask out of uh, aluminum ore. We got 25.5 tons of it. Bring Rashad to tailor some suits. Oh yeah, full tailoring. I forgot about that. That's so good. Okay, stress at 99%. <laughs> so bad. Hey, look! Oh my god! It's happening! Hundred percent stress and no food, yeah. Just the best. Where does it all go? We had seven thousand. We had seven thousand after everybody ate. It's gone. I think they're feeding it to these hatches still. We need the coal, though. It's a fine balance. We might be restarting, by the way. It, this is so bad. Like, we just can't get anything done down here, either. There's so much carbon. Oh, what's this? Gravitas shipping container. It needs activating. Oh, there's a mailbox here, too. Neat. Coal delivered. Alright, we're making masks. Which means that we need to have a checkpoint. Alright, where are these checkpoints? Utilities? Oxygen? Power, food, plumbing, ventilation, stations, ah, oxygen mask dock, stores oxygen masks and refuels them with oxygen, okay. How many do we need? Eight? We'll put the checkpoint, um... I 
I guess we'll put it over here. We don't want them to go down here without... Uh, where the hell can I put this checkpoint? If we put it... What if we cap off the base? Oh, fuck, there's a vent there. And then if we cap off the base, there's nowhere for the uh, chlorine to go either, right? So we want to just let it... I mean, ideally, we just have enough oxygen to just fill the whole area, and then we wouldn't need to use masks, but we do kind of have to use them right now. <laughs> so maybe we'll have the, the, um, the thing here. Yeah, okay, we'll put it here, look. And then we can still uh, try to vent it down, right, with like mesh tiles or whatever. Okay, so we want the oxygen mask checkpoint to be in here. And then we'll have the oxygen mask docks. Oh, I can fit just, just enough. And that should be enough to get them around where they need to go. Outside. They can't get back in this way. Okay, perfect. So let's go like that. Um. Oh wait, we want to do this, right? We want to get, um... some airflow tiles in here. And we can get one here, too, so that this stuff can dip out of here. Can you have an uh, airflow tile where there's a fire pole, though? I guess we wouldn't really want uh, fire pole here anyway now, right? Dovendir is lashing out. He's hit his uh, his stress point. Let me grab these nutrient bars. <laughs> oh no. Stop this. Don't do it! No! Quit it! He's doing it again! Go to bed! He's taking a nice big poop. Alright. We gotta fix some stuff. Pom pom, pom pom, pom pom, pom pom. Alright, so we'll cap this um, area off too. He just wanted some better airflow in the kitchen? <laughs> We're gonna float him. 
We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna float his ass. Okay, let's uh, deliver these suits. As soon as we break up to the surface, we're gonna put him in a vacuum and uh, and he's gone. He's he's out. Sick of this guy. Uh, we want uh, insulated, right? Oh, this has to be... Um, this airflow tile's actually got to be mesh, right? But it's not gonna work. The Frostpunk 2 beta starts on the 15th of April? Nice. Frostpunk 2? 2? two? We might have to just disable this uh, for a sec so that they can get by to finish this last job. Okay, so now we can enable it. Since we got some oxygen coming in here. We're out of food again. some more insulated tile in here. Let's get some insulated tile here and here. Let's get rid of this. Oh nice, he just didn't use a mask. Uh, clearance always permitted. Clearance vacancy only so we want to make sure that they take the masks right he came down the other way I don't think there's another way for them to go now right if they're in the base Got one. Nice. Look at this. Holy crap. This is great. He's got so much air. We're filling up all the other masks, too. Oh, this guy can stay out here forever, look! He can get so much work done!
Yes. Do that work. Oh, this is way better. Okay. We need um, a liquid pump in here. We're going to need some uh, power. Some uh, some liquid pipe. Whoops! I pressed the wrong button. We want a um, liquid bridge. Oh, fuck. I pressed the wrong button again. And then we want to run um, some pipes. Up to here. And then we're going to have... Oh, I can't build that in there, though. I'll need to open this up to get in there, right? Which isn't... Uh, isn't a huge problem. It's just a bit nasty in there, isn't it? But we should be able to do it. Okay, and then we want... Um, radium pipes, which I uh, haven't even researched yet, I think. What the fuck? Radiant pipes? Radiant pipes? Oh my god, man. Okay. Get the aqua tuner from that, too. No, I don't want insulated uh, pipes. We want it to lose some heat along the way. I mean, it'll heat up uh, the the outside a little bit, but it's pretty cool over here, right? So it's it's not the end of the world. Polluted, cold, polluted water. God, that scared me. We're still pumping this CO2 into these containers here, and we've filled up two and a half. We have no food. <laughs> oh no. There's a sweet old larva here. Some oxyfern seeds that we don't need. We'll just take the seeds. God, we can't take any more dupes. 
Okay, look, the, the chlorine's pretty much gone now, so these plants can grow again. We probably just need to plant some more. Catch up on this food. There's no food. There's absolutely no food. <laughs> There's also no water for the fucking hell. We're, we're almost out, out of water. It's taking so long to get this. It's been a good run. I think we're dead, yeah. I've... I've I've never, uh, I've never really had this many issues with this game before. I think it just took too long to, to get stuff going. I think when I used to play on the big asteroid, you had a lot more resources, where it feels a little bit more limited this time. And spaced out. Yeah, I should have probably done gas masks sooner. Well, let's just see. If I can get this water going... Oh, I can't do the research without the uh, the water, actually. I need the... Um... Can they not access this up here? Oh, they have to do this first, right? We just need a little bit of water. Maybe this will be enough. Need these radiant pipes. Is there just normal water? Uh, there's some normal, normal temperature water down here that I could potentially grab. There's, it's with ethanol though. Is there any other water that I can? Oh shit! I need to scoop this up too. That's nasty. Plant some more food. Starvation three? I think we're restarting. I don't know, I don't I'm not sure that we can survive this. Well there's a bit of food to harvest actually, but the stress is just like out of control as well. We have a high a high stress reaction. It's always the kitchen for some reason. Just kind of like the needed. He's having a tantrum against the the thing that will help him de-stress the most, right? If he can have some food. This, this carbon is not shifting at all. Uh, there's so much of it. I, I just cannot. We managed to get it m most of, mostly out of this room, which was the, the goal, but it's just taken way too long. Okay, I don't think anyone's necessarily starving now. There is, there is food. I think they're eating it just as and when as well. Oh, fuck. It's gonna be a rough night. <laughs> the base is wrecked by this guy having a tantrum as well. There should be a bunch of food in the morning.
Oh, people are still starving. Captain Payne was unable to find food. Okay, I'm just gonna feed these guys sand sandstone now instead of this. Probably should have done that a while ago, but I thought we could get it under control. What's this temperature looking like? It's pretty bad. It's like 54 degrees. The water is at 56 degrees. We shouldn't really need to go in here again. Colony achievement? Cure a sick duplicate of a disease? I don't think I did that. <laughs> Who did we cure? There's no way we cured anyone. Alright, everybody's out. Mopping up water. Okay, you know where to take it. That's right. Let's get this science done. Oh my god, this is so bad. Alright, we're just going to have to do uh, normal pipes uh, until we can get... Um... Oh, it's a fucking hell. There's always something. Uh, we're not e even able to get in here. We're going to just try our best to dump uh, some of this heat in here. Okay, let's see how we go. Well, we'll change these pipes over to um, the other ones once. It's it's just unfortunate. Look at all this food we're getting though. It's just it's just really bad timing. We we didn't do the right research, and now we don't have any water to do the research because we're trying to get. Well, we're going to run out of oxygen if we don't get this water running, so. Then it's just another another mission critical problem to deal with. We're going to need to get some more cold, polluted water in here at some point, too. And then get the radiant pipes built. Okay, this is pumped water all the way to this liquid bridge, which is good. Oxyferns eat carbon dioxide? I I know. I know they do. But they don't eat this much carbon dioxide. I appreciate the uh, the sentiment, though. I need another mess hall, too. I did try getting a new ISP. Yeah, it hasn't helped much. I figured, you know, if I just get a new ISP, it'll probably solve a lot of the issues I'm having here, but...
Look at that last little bit of water. Perfect. All we needed. We have 3,000 kcals. And, and, and climbing. Look at this. Holy shit. Okay, the water is flowing. And so it is cooling the water down a little bit. Actually, it's losing a lo quite a bit of heat. Considering it started at like 50, it's coming in at about 30 now. And once it mixes uh, in this area, it'll probably um, cool down a little bit more too. Because this is quite a cold area. Okay, that's good. Whew. Okay, we shouldn't run out of oxygen now. We could do a, a, some much better cooling for sure, but... So this is heating up this uh, polluted water slightly. Not much. Once we have radiant pipes, it'll it'll do even better though, right? <laughs> I'm printing the water. We need it for research. Unreachable food. What? Okay, stress is dropping a little bit now. We need to make sure that this uh, power is running as much as possible, too, because we're... But the, the crisis hasn't been fully averted for now, but it's getting there. We might actually get this research done. It should be really good. We've delayed the crisis a little tiny bit. Maybe not enough, though. start trying to eat some of this polluted oxygen <clears throat> we don't want germs spreading all right when this um, when this erupts now we should um, Well, we could probably more or less just keep the heat contained. This didn't need to be so far down, but, um, I mean, it's whatever, right? What can you do? Because this thing be, this thing is dormant right now, so now might be a pretty good time to, uh, to get in here and analyze it, right? See what we're working with? We still, we still don't have enough food. We're harvesting loads of it today, though, it looks like. Oh, the research is complete. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, let's get some radiant pipe in here with iron. Radiant liquid pipe. Oh, shit, we need... Uh... Okay, 
we need to to we need to crush you think copper is better does this have any any data in it no it doesn't They won't go pick it up. It's too hot in there. Don't go in there, it's too hot. How long will it be dormant for? I don't know. Oh, this water is still very hot. Yeah, the stress levels are, are creeping up again. We're still so bad for food. With eight dupes. I guess we haven't harvested a lot of it as well, though. Can I move off Mulewood? No. <laughs> to what? I don't have anything that I can make um, large quantities of. At the moment. I haven't really done... I don't have any farming. I don't have any ingredients. We can't even really do eggs. We just don't have enough eggs. Look at all this polluted air. Oh my god, we actually have some food. I can't believe it. Erica's making pickled meals for everybody. Wow. Why is there water here? We haven't really made much of a dent on all this carbon dioxide. And actually, we're just producing more of it here, right? Tons of it. This thing produces 170 grams per second. Can we crush some? Can we crush some uh, some radiant pipage? We got a little bit. Oh look, the temperature is uh, is going up now. This polluted water looks seven degrees. So the the radiant pipes, um, the heat exchange is working pretty good. It's starting to warm it up. That's just with two. 
Meaning that water coming through here now. Oh, it's still so hot. Look at that. 40 degrees. Yeah, that guy's gonna start breaking stuff again. He's he's all stressed out again. He's at eighty percent. Well, at least there is a lot of water here. He's going to blow and not in a good way. No, you're right. He is he's going to blow. He's going to he's going to blow and it's not going to be pleasant. It's going to be nasty. All right, we have a little bit of food now, stockpiled, so hopefully he can de-stress a bit, can have something to eat. We need some people working this uh, rock crusher. To cool down this water, it's too hot. Holy crap, we're going to need so much more. Okay, stress has gone down a little bit. That's good. We need to stop um, creating more CO2, which uh, this this will come in handy for that. We don't have. Uh, we don't actually need an uh, an atmo suit here. I think just the um, the oxygen masks are pretty good, right? Ooh. It's like the game new. Okay, the temperature of the polluted water is going up more now. Let's try to funnel some more polluted water if we can into this area where the pump is. Would be nice. Wood burners make a lot of um, of carbon dioxide, and so does the coal uh, burner as well, which is what I mean. There's just tons of it. it's packed down here. There's so much of it, but the the problem is is that it's pushing uh, it's pushing all this chlorine up into the base. That's why we're trying to get on top of it a bit. Overload damage. What's Oh, is this a uh, wire overload? Uh. We've got too much stuff on here. We'll have to separate some of this out, I think. How much is on here right now? Two. 
So we need to separate. Um, Oh, God. I think we need a power transformer, right? Do we need the big one? I can't remember how this works. Limits power flowing through the transformer to 1,000 watts. Do the big... Do the big one. Power transformer. So we need a thousand. We probably need a thousand down there. And then a thousand up here, too. Okay. So we do the, the heavy watt wire. To here and then that comes from all this stuff here and then we split it out a thousand and a thousand with the with the smaller wires so we'll have no power for a minute have to have the um you got to use the uh the plate thing right the heavy watt joint plate Yeah, this is considered in the base, so they don't use masks to come over here and do this stuff. <laughs> okay, so we'll have... Um, one go up and the other one go down and then we'll cut this here and that should separate it out and stop the uh the overloading i hope good job Wow, you did so much work. That's great. Oh, come on, really? This guy gets stressed so easily. The lashing out is annoying. Is that the destructive, um, is it destructive that causes that? All right, we're somewhat back up and running. We just need this other... I think he's just having a tantrum in the kitchen as usual. We ha we actually have food now though. We just got to get on top of this uh, the stress. These are almost all done too, which is really good. So we should have, yeah, we should have some pretty hot water coming through here and dumping a lot of the heat off into uh, this polluted water. So 
So it's cooling it down to about 28 degrees. And the polluted water is... 28. It's not, it's not doing that much. It's better than it being like 50 though, right? At least if it's under 30, it's somewhat manageable. 29. And now the polluted water is just over 10 degrees. So these things should uh, recover. So that polluted water is a little bit hotter. So the polluted water is now at 15 degrees, and the stuff in the pipe is just below 30. But it was coming in at 56, so that's not bad, actually. And we could put more, um, more cold polluted water in there, too, right? I think for this, this liquid vent... We just need like a uh, like a hold all container that this can go into because we don't want the uh, brine coming back down here, right? We can just start storing the brine somewhere else for now, and then we can get more of this polluted water. See if we can get even more to come down. There's a whole bunch up here. There's a bunch here, and then there's this cool salt slush geyser, which is um, making cold brine as well, which will keep coming down here. So we'll, we could potentially um, process that brine and uh, make uh, good water with it. And, uh, and use it to cool... Um, this hot water that comes in from here, right? This is still dormant. Okay, let's get this guy to analyze this. It's too hot up there. He hasn't done a lot of analysis. More analysis needed. Okay, we finally have some food. Stress. We can work on that now, right? What's wrong with this thing? Body temperature? Okay. This should sort itself out pretty soon too, I think. Came close a couple of times there, but I think we're uh, I think we're in a better spot.
Can I put an airlock on the piss pit? I need to close up the piss pit in a minute, actually, now that this is all, um... This is all done. All that work in there is done for now. I think we ran out of coal. We've not run out of lumber, though. We have tons of it. So we might just um, make um, some more of these first. Try to conserve our coal. So what's this? Power. Some more wood burners. Just for now, and then let's get um, see if we can get to work on the um, on getting this. How's this analysis going? Oh, it's good. Oh my God! Okay, blueprint, spicy tofu. Excellent fruit, um, vomiter, banshee, building suit wearing and cooking. I'm just going to take the tofu. Let's just get this spicy tofu and then let's work on getting some of the stress down after. This polluted water is up to 23 degrees. Crazy. Um, I just need to have a ladder to go here, and then I would like to also have a... Yeah, that should be good. You like boiling piss too? Oh man, me too, I love that. I don't know I don't know if this will reach all of them. It looks like potentially it can reach Oh no it won't. I think I just need to lose one container and then put the battery on the outside. They're good.
It's just, there's a little bit of water here too, but it is mostly just polluted water and, uh, and brine, right? Why is Terry so quiet? Terry's had about three breakfasts, and I think he's just, uh, in a bit of a, um, food coma now. There's definitely some heat around here, huh? Oh, we figured it out. Okay, this... The eruption period of this is uh, 421 seconds every 724 seconds. Active period is 101 cycles every 149 cycles. So this is dormant for another 33 cycles. Nice. There's some very breathable oxygen in there. Okay, it's fine. They just need to be fertilized. Dowie's, Dowie's on it. How much dirt do we have left? Let's see. Dirt? 740 tons of dirt. That's a lot of dirt. This one here is dormant as well. Don't really want to break into this um, just yet because... There's a bunch of algae there. My favorite, algae. see if we can get this hydrogen um, working for us for power instead of this uh, all this wood burning and stuff. So let's get the plumbing for um, all this stuff in. Be 
These guys can just work in the base. Nope. Wow, look at all the food we've got. We've got so many cacals. Finally. Alright, stress is still an issue, but hopefully... Fucking hell. Look at this polluted water gets... Used up so quickly. I don't know if we have, like, a... Much of a renewable source of polluted water. Other than, like, uh, toilets, maybe? This fucker. Seriously. Why is he s Oh, that's not even this guy doing it. It's, uh, is it Carniz? No? 39%? Who's, um, who was just stressing out? None of those guys had 100% stress. Or maybe they just finished stressing out and that's why it dropped all right so we need to get some more uh, polluted water back in here of which there's there's quite a bit actually Oh, I see. We can't get over here. We need to drop some of this down here. Oh. Alright, Erica's back on the grill. We want to see what's uh, in this as well. We'll just use this as a, a temporary pool. Alright, this this bad boy is potential power consumers one point two one. We get this plugged in though, this it could save uh, a lot of jobs for now, right? Keep us online. Grub fruit seed? Sure. We don't need any more dupes right now. I, I'm I, I'm struggling to manage the ones that we we have at the moment. It's not easy. Oh no, the carbon dioxide is mounting up again. Storage is full as well. We're just making, um, we're just making so much of it.
<laughs> All right, so this auto sweeper Automates sweeping and supplying errands by sucking up all nearby debris. Materials are automatically delivered to any conveyor loader, conveyor receptacle, st storage, or building. So, ca so can it pull from this storage bin, or does it need to have it like a uh, an actual? It can pull from it? Okay, and will it do it? Let's see if it... Oh, yeah, it's doing it. It's delivering the lumber. Oh, that's great. So that means dupes don't have to run all the way down here to keep the, uh, the power on. Okay, good. So we shouldn't run out of power in the night. Fudge. I, there's there's just too much um there's too much CO2 here. I can't <laughs> I can't do anything. <laughs> I can't dig fast enough either to 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 sink it. Like it's there's just too much of it. I don't think a carbon skimmer is gonna do it. <laughs> I appreciate the obvious point out, but. Yeah, I guess I could, I could pump it to space. I haven't been up to space yet, though. Maybe two skimmers. I mean, I guess it would create a bunch of polluted water as well, right? I need to move this battery. Out of the way, and then I need to move this wood burner into range here. No, no, I'm not making more wood burners, but I mean, we could try that. We could try doing the uh, the skimmer. See if it helps. Carbon skimmer uses water to filter filter carbon dioxide from the air, so it just deletes it. And then it just creates polluted water, right? Cool. 
God, let's at least skim it off this level because there's just fucking tons of it. Jesus. Polluted water and oxygen? No. Just polluted water. And uh, a lot of heat. Tanks are full. Oh, they didn't finish the pipes. We should be able to get these batteries built. Should be able to get this mesh in as well. Give them air. I'm giving them air. They've got air. Okay, stress has come down a little bit too, which is nice. Maybe it's just the... Maybe it's just the, the good eating. <laughs> So this needs to go this way, and plumbing-wise, we need to get rid of um, we could do this with a bridge. Do another bridge. All right, food's looking good. We now have even more polluted water going back into the tank. Pretty soon we're not going to use this polluted water to cool this water. We're going to use this brine. Because we're going to have tons of it, right? We're going to load it into here. Get the rest of this polluted water up. Skim this carbon. Oh, we got loads of water. For now. Can we make silage? Yes. It's a big it's a big stream of piss, isn't it? A lovely big piss stream. Thank <laughs> you. 
How's our hydrogen bomb coming along? It's coming along great. We're working on it. Um, we've got ranching, decorating, innately stylish, a caregiver, interior decorator, but is a yokel. Stress reaction is vomiting. Let's just grab these eggs. Some little eggs. Okay, our first uh, bathroom is almost. Um, sorry, our first sink is almost done. <laughs> Taking a little while. It's a couple of a couple of tasks outstanding, but I'm sure we'll get to them. We might not be able to keep up with uh, lumber production for power. But we'll be able to um, use it as a backup. Hopefully we can get this thing online pretty soon. Get this thing analyzed as well. Okay, so this uh, gas pipe go in here. We've done it. We got a sink. Oh my god, okay, we got we got food. We're working on some plumbing. them a bit cleaner. What's left here? Not much. Let's get what's left in here pumped down here. Would we'll be good, um, and we can um, we can just piggyback off of this uh, this power for now. I think actually there's a whole bunch of stuff that can be deleted and claimed back here. Oh, actually this battery. So maybe we don't want to... Oops. Let's keep that. And then this wire. We can get rid of... That wire too. 
we can get rid of all this stuff, and then we can go... Okay, good. Every base needs a solid chlorine layer? No, I don't want one. It's, it's creeping up. It's creeping up into the base again. We need it out of here. chlorine intoxication do it can it can do a lot it can cause a lot of huge problems this thing is still dormant for 27 and a half cycles do you think we have enough water I guess it's still emptying some out from here. Not much, though. It's hot. It's hot over here. It's getting hot in here. Look at the skimmers doing the magic. I think the I think the magic is um is finished. It looks like they're not uh, they're not skimming anymore, even though there is some carbon dioxide here. Is that because there's no water? Oh, the water ran out. So actually, we need to hook these up from uh, up here now. We don't want to hook these up here anymore. So we're gonna have to have a. Liquid bridge. Are we missing masks? We've got 119,000 KCALs now. Oh no, maybe not. They've returned the masks. There's four that still need to be delivered. Where are those? So we're missing four masks? Somebody um, drop a mask somewhere that we can't we can't fetch it or something? Uh, 
Awaiting delivery. Maybe I just need to make four more. It might be nice to finish um, some of these errands today, if possible. God willing. If G.O.D. wills it. Hey, good news, by the way. The uh, the world didn't end yesterday. I thought this time there was like a pretty good chance. You know, one, two, three, four. Wake up, the world has ended, this is all a dream, you passed out in your nuclear survival bunker? I'm out of toilet paper! I ran out of... craft dinner! Oh no! Okay, we have to stop um, this madness now. There's there's some madness here that must be stopped, right? And it goes and it goes a little something like this. Um, where's this liquid bridge? That'll do. That'll do. And that'll do. You know who never ran out of toilet paper? Rashad? Oh. You're right. I'll just take food for now. Let's just get really flush with food and then... We're pretty flush with food. Aha! This is working now. Great. Okay, so let's deconstruct this. Okay, and then in plumbing, we want a lavatory. We can do all the plumbing work ahead of time, too.
think we have to take this gas vent out of here as well. All this polluted water now has um, food poisoning germs in it. But that's okay. The arbor tree... The arbor tree can handle pee. It's a little, a little rhyme to remind ourselves of just how crazy and sick and nasty nature can be. It can't handle a river of poop. No, nothing can. Can we please remove these piss jugs from here? Okay, power, wood burner. We really are not gonna have enough wood to keep this going for much longer. We're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to get this, this going soon. The wood is, uh, is renewable, but, um, not, uh, we, we don't renew it fast enough to keep up with the demand right now. When am I making everyone a private bathroom? Um, I'll add it to the list. I'll add it onto the list. Storage unavailable? What do you mean, storage unavailable? Polluted water? It's over here. There, look. It's emptying the, the, the piss jug in there as we speak. Oh, 
Nice. We have uh, one one huge toilet. Captain Pain, job. What is this mop harvest sweep? Okay. I'm one huge toilet. That's a bit rude, but I take the point. I take I take the point. It's a little rude. Okay, nice. We actually have some water in here for science and recreation. Okay, we can finally start removing some of this crap from the f floors of these rooms. Alright, we're running low on wood, so the next big job is going to be... Uh, to work on this thing here. Um, how can we make it so that... It'll probably be, have to be like this, right? Yes. What is this in here? Uh, 
I don't know. Uh, do we want some Drecklet eggs? I guess if we make a farm for these guys, uh, we can um, get plastic. Some plastic. We don't have any of these guys yet. We got the egg, so we could. Um... Can you eat plastic? Yes, you can. Yeah. Stress levels are climbing again. Okay. Water levels seem pretty good for now. And... Polluted water levels seem pretty good for now, too. days of Yogg's cast with Minecraft volts, and while I don't catch many streams, I thought I would show my appreciation for the years of content I've enjoyed. Nice! Keep it up, big boy. Best boy. Hey, um, Skedaddle3, thank you so much for the thousand bits. I appreciate it. Thank you. Very kind. And thanks for the nice message as well. Mucho appreciado. Look at these skimmers. Skimmers have done... They've done a bit of work here. Oh, we gotta tap into this hydrogen. Try to use it uh, for some power before it's too late. It's nice and cold up here. Some vacuum up here as well. Yeah, the stress the stress is not too great. He's, he's at sixty percent stress because he's hungry. I don't know why he's not eating. Maybe he just doesn't have time. Between, like, going to the bathroom and, you know, whatnot. Let's get some, um... Oh my god, we're gonna run out of wood. Just when you think. I'm never gonna run out of wood. Guess what? Running out of wood. Temperature still maintained, uh, it's still pretty cold in here, but it's starting, slowly starting to, uh, heat is starting to seep in there. A little bit. How can you run out of wood? Very easily. It's very easy to run out of wood. This polluted water is at 30 degrees. There is some heat leaking into the base now. Worryingly so. This chlorine is, is hot.
Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll get, um... These guys move down here. Stress is... He's still hungry. Go eat, man. What is he... What is this... What is this guy doing that he's not eating? Why won't he eat? Why is he hungry all the time? I'm I'm watching him. I want to see see if he actually eats. Yeah, he's eating. Okay, stress is going down apparently. This guy's getting a full night's sleep. Look at this. He's the first one in the toilet as well. Oh, yes. Okay, his stress is going up now, apparently. I think we need some uh, some decorations. Um, let's make it with granite. So that they... If we can get them like a nice decor bonus first thing in the morning, that could be good, right? Try to get rid of some of the stress. Okay, um, priorities, 
Who is going to be doing all of our art, our decorating? Who's the best? Captain Payne. We don't want anyone else doing it. Captain Payne is doing the art. We want to make sure we get good art. This one is a masterpiece. Look at that. Oh, look at all look at these look at these decor bonuses. Ambient decor. Some mallow seeds. Okay, look at the decor now. That's great. Whew. The decor in here is is uh, good too. They love it in there. Oh, what's this? Bliss burst seed. Sweetle larva. Okay, his stress is at 61, but is dropping. He does, doesn't like soggy feet. I don't know how he got soggy feet. Oh, he probably got it from here. He's had some contact with slime lung. Okay, his stress at 60%, but it's dropping. I don't think there's any slime lung loose in the colony at the moment. I don't want this leaking out of here. There, perfect. Alright, we can get rid of this. Get some of this stuff swept up as well. Okay, we still have a little bit of wood left, but not much. We're almost ready um, to to do this, though. Um, we should probably line this up with this, right? Uh, 
Doodly do. Doodly do. Let's get some heavy watt wire in here. Perfect. All right, and then we want a hydrogen generator which produces uh, 800 watts. So two of these will do. We have some uh, gas stored up in here that we can use for the time being. Um, and this stuff is all coming off the main base line, right? But we can claim back some of this wire. We don't need this right now. Terry's been nuts lately. He's, uh, yeah, I don't know. He's, uh, he's, he's activated. It's because it's, uh, it's, it's approaching, um, you know, like spring into summer sort of thing. So naturally he, uh, he wants to be more active. He's, he's gearing up to be, to being more active. He'll be able to go outside pretty soon. It starts warming up a little. He's getting zesty. Yeah, that's right. He's feeling some uh, some zest. <laughs> Hunting for that tortussy. <laughs> Poor Terry. If you look, if you try to say that to his face, you'll feel bad. Replace all the outhouses and wash basins in your colony with lavatories and sinks. We've done it. How come I'm not getting any uh, new blueprints? What uh, what governs that? How do I get more? Can you can you do this now? Can you or does it need a, a space? Does it need some space to breathe first? Can you just direct connect them? Does anybody know? Or does it need some spacing? It does need space. It needs a space. Okay. All right. So be it. I will do a space. Oh, I guess the space uh, can't go there either, right? So the space will have to go... Or can it? It must be able to go in front. Yeah, it can. Look. It doesn't seem to uh, to mind so much.
Okay, good. We're getting there. How are we doing for wood? We're almost out. We're almost completely out of lumber. Is there any lumber? Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of lumber back here, actually. So we could um, increase the priority on this and get some more delivered. There's a whole bunch on the floor. I guess some auto sweepers in there would be pretty good too, right? If we could afford them, the power. Suck up all that lumber. Stress has gone down a little bit, thank God. Chat, give me two minutes, I'll be right back. So I'm back. Oh. Um. We're venting this um out of here. I don't know if we want to do that because we uh, we can actually use um some of this now, right? We should use some of it now. Maybe. Reconnect it. And use it since this is like full, full. Am I eating something? Yeah, I was eating a uh, fun size Milky Way bar. I walked past the um, the cupboard. 
and I just saw the packet of fun size Milky Way bars, and I thought to myself, you know what? That does look fun. I'm gonna eat one. Ah, oh, man, it's really good. I say, I do like a Milky Way. Beard Daddy, that is some great work, by the way. Really nice work. Really good. Really sweet. Really gentle. Really sweet and gentle work. Good job. Okay, I've made my... Uh... Yeah, good. This is good. It's coming together really nicely, actually. Fun is not an acceptable unit of measurement. Mate. Mate. High threshold. Let's make it like 95. Low threshold. Like 50. I love these little oxygen masks, they're great. They've actually, they saved us big time. Look at, uh, look at all these um, storage bins from sweeping. They fill up so fast. Just trying to keep the base uh, tidy. If possible, oxalite. Arbor Acorn? I'll take an Arbor Acorn. Why not? Who's starving? Oh. That's odd. We have so much food as well. I don't know why... Beard Daddy is starving. Still didn't eat enough. And is now oversleeping as well. Yes, Beard Daddy. That's great. Okay, so, gas pipe. Um, let's cut this one off here. For now. And then let's get uh, this gas pipe. So we know that this is just going to be hydrogen. And then... Power. This will hook up to the lower one. And then we need the the high one to get hooked up as well, right? And the high one was hooking up to something here. I'm not sure what this is. Wow, we have so much lumber all of a sudden. Holy jumping. Critter starvation. Oh, these guys are starving.
Okay, let's just uh, remove this limit now. Max. How much do they eat per day? They're eating up all the sandstone. We might not get any more. We might have to change their diet. I didn't realize that we had so much lumber available on the ground. There's even more. We still want to use this as a backup and not as a, a primary, though. I think. Okay, so that's plugged in uh, to the bottom network, and then the top network... This battery... So this is like the internal, which is fine, honestly, because it's a big jumbo battery that we're just... Uh, doing a, a, a wheel with, right? I mean, we could just put another transformer and then give it its own and use some of this power and then we, we can sack off the wheel or put the wheel back just for, for backup so we'd have a third power network, potentially. Um, this one... Just trying to find a good spot to hook it up. I guess we could just go like... through here and then it would just have to go over yeah this would be fine okay we just need to reconfigure um, this a little so that it goes um, like that instead And then that can just hook into that with a wire bridge, right? Yeah. And then we just need another wire bridge here. Yeah, that'd be fine for now. May need to pump out some CO2 soon. Well, we're eating some of it here, and then we're going to get this skimmer lower down here, too, I think. We're going to get another one. get this plumbed in. I don't know if that actually works. Let's try it. Can I restart now? No, no, we don't need to now. No restart needed. The stress is getting high again, though. Please restart now. I don't want... I, but I don't want to... So what we'll do here is, um, I 
how do we how are we gonna do this so that this just kicks in when uh I guess we want to get another smart battery, right? We get another smart battery over here and hook it up to this, and then when it's full... Oh no, we're not going to get power from there, right? We need to, like... I don't know if we... How do I set this up so that I can use the this as like a like like as a top up? I suppose if we have power on this side and power on the other side, governed by a smart battery, then both of these sides will just draw from the smart batteries, and then when they need to be topped up, yeah, I, I suppose that would work, right? So I just need a smart battery here as well to control these. Probably don't need these jumbo batteries here anymore, but I'll just keep them anyway, right? It's just good to have a little bit of excess power. And then I'm going to need a little bit more of this. having a, 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 a minor eye irritation. Okay, it does look like this works. Okay, so we're skimming carbon from this lower level now, too. So hopefully all this chlorine will just drop even lower. Okay, so the automation wire for this will go... like this, right? Do I say topped up or topped off? I don't know. I think I normally would say topped up. But I'm I'm no stranger to topped off either. So I don't know. All right, we are going to have to vent um some of this uh eventually too, right? I mean, these These are probably supplying most of the power right now because this guy just keeps um feeding them, which is fine. That's fine. We don't mind the, him feeding the the, but we'll turn them off when the uh, batteries are full, right? Oh, we still have a bunch of construction jobs to complete over here. Our, um... Our food is sorted out, but our stress is not. We're making some more heat over here, too. Which is not the best, but at least we have uh, some insulated tiles to, uh, to save the inside of the colony from all the heat. Okay, our water levels look pretty good. Once we start getting some um, brine in here, 
then we can maybe start um, converting it. Set seventy nine percent stress. He's always hungry, this guy. I guess the soggy feet don't help. Did I make more masks? Where'd they go? Where are we missing? Why are we always missing four masks from here? If they're all in use, then you'd expect these, this to be full, right? When they all come back? Oh, maybe. Oh, so we st we're still missing three. And that's everybody back as well. What the... What the heck? What the hell? No, oh, I don't see them on the floor. There's nothing on the floor here. Oxygen. Wire. I don't I don't know. I guess I'll just make three more. I don't know. <laughs> the masks were eaten. They may have been. Okay, Erica is making some masks right now. Job, Erica. Okay, there's one mask. Will it be delivered? Yes. I don't know. It's a mystery. Sometimes they drop them if they run out of air? What, so there's just going to be a whole bunch of masks out here? That doesn't sound right. dormant for 13 more cycles.
Oh, these are worn. Look at all the masks here. Worn oxygen masks. They can be repaired at a crafting station? Oh, oxygen worn mask. Supplies. So. I could just repair these, right? That's where all the masks are. Look, there's a whole bunch of them. They're all tapped out. Hey, this guy... Oh, Beard Daddy's twinkling. Foot sandwich is repairing masks. <laughs> Foot sandwich is, uh, is stuck at that. Wow, look, I love the twinkling effect. That's cool. Oh, what was the answer for the uh, blueprint stuff? How come I'm not unlocking blueprints ever? Do you have like a maximum per week or something like that? It's not going to give it enough room to um, turn it back into water, right? We'll try it though, anyway. Eleven point seven cycles before it goes up again. Beard Daddy is stuck here. <laughs> Beard Daddy, no. No! <laughs> Don't do it!
He's still twinkling. He's going to make a big mess. Wake up! Get to the toilet quick! Don't you dare! No. Don't stop! Run! Like the wind! Yes! You can do it! He's done it! Oh, yeah! I don't want any piss on the ground. Alright, we gotta make, um... Oh, yes. That's good. Okay, this automation is not set up yet, but... It looks like none of this stuff is on, because I guess it just doesn't need to be? Maybe it's just handling its... Oh, I don't know. Saying that the power is not connected for these power transformers. Oh, you know why? They put the automation wire in and it's uh, it's off. Right? Or one of them is on? Oh, battery sufficiently full. I don't know. I think it's because of the automation wire though. Ten point eight cycles to go. Okay, and then plumbing. Okay, good. And then we can get rid of this plumbing. All right, we want to get this done uh, soon. Hello! Oh, it's a hatchling. Do we need any of these guys? Building, farming, tidying. Requires light to sleep. Binge eater, binge eater, and binge eater. God, no thanks.
Did I ever play Wrecking Crew on the NES? I think I did, actually, yeah. Okay, we'll sort some of this stuff out once uh, all this uh, work here is done. We gotta prioritize this work because this thing's coming back online 10 cycles. good we're not producing any more co2 now we're just using the hydrogen that we stored up in the spawn to power everything for now and then uh, once that starts to empty out a bit faster if we need to revert back to lumber to keep things topped up we can and then that gives us more breathing space to finish this job as well right but let's concentrate on one thing at a time here We have room in the sweep bins? Yeah, we do. Okay, good. Okay, it looks like this is all hooked up now. So this liquid vent can uh, be dismantled and then we can start pumping whatever needs to come in here for now in be good do I prefer this game over don't starve yeah I like to tinker with uh, with stuff like this it's good fun Cool steam vent U042-6 times 1 is hot. It's very hot. It's red hot. Look at it. Carnies has high stress, 60%. Let's try to get some of this stuff swept out of here before we close it. Close it for business. So the plumbing and power are hooked up. And that seems fine. Okay, let's just get everybody over here to do this and then we'll close it up and then job's done.
Yeah, they all come. <laughs> Oh wait, they picked up the uh, the data disk as well, I think. Okay, finally. Good, alright. Let's close this. Look at all this, uh, this cold brine. Very good. Very good. Okay, so in here we also want to have a bottle emptier. For Brian. Holy crap. We've 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 kind of we've kind of done it, if you can believe that. We've sort of, we've we've kind of overcome some hardships and pain. Not bad. Okay, this guy can go. Disabled by automation grid. Perfect. We have so much lumber as well. So it's using a little bit. Let's deconstruct these big batteries. Oops. That's great. And then this guy can keep topped up on this side as well. Perfect. All right, so that should... I wouldn't expect this to fire as much, but... It doesn't look like it's drawing from here now. We might need to look at that. So... With this hooked up to here, or is it just, yeah, so that's hooked up to the bottom one, and this is hooked up to the top one. I guess it just, it, it's got to pick one, right? There's no, maybe I'm missing something. Hey, listen, um, I got some hot lunch ready. I'm just going to go eat it quick. I won't be long, okay? I'll be right back.
Badoo 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 badoo. I'm back. And I had some pizza for lunch. Oh my god. And it was good. It was it was really nice. Really good pizza. It's homemade. My kids made pizza. I, yeah, pizza I didn't bring you any. Sorry, yeah, I ate it all. Alright, not only did I eat, uh, did I eat uh eat all of my own pizza that was made for me. Everybody else like left a bunch of pizza and I ate that too. They didn't eat their crusts, I ate those. The baby didn't want any, she wanted a cheese sandwich. <sighs> Free pizza. I'll take it. And guess what? I got some tea as well. <laughs> what a day. <coughs> Oh, man. Tea and pizza. Yeah. And I fat shamed uh, Terry yesterday as well. Yeah. And today probably too. Yeah, I know. Kids are weird leaving the crusts. They always do it too. They always leave like the best part. Crusts are so good. I love crusts. I love those crusts. Okay, these things are uh, these things are operating, and we don't really want them to be. So I think what we'll do is, instead of uh, automating it, let's um, let's go into wires here, and let's just snip these wires for now. We can always plug them back in after if we need to, and then that'll mean that we're using this more <coughs> for the power. I think if we want, um, I think if we want to get the wood burners working in conjunction with these things, we'd have to move the wood burners over here, right? And and have them on the same heavy watt system, and then these things would all just sort of. Well, I guess they would all fire, though, right? So we'd have to have, we'd probably have to have some automation that said, you know, if there's no gas in here, then, then swap over, or something like that, right? I'd have to think about it. Um, destructive, binge eater, and vomiter. This one has digging, researching, increased agriculture immune to food poisoning, but decreased husbandry. Okay, we're going to get another... Are we going to get another dupe in? We could do with the extra set of hands, because there's quite a few jobs now. We do have quite a bit of food now, too, right? Okay, Giso wants in. Giso, you're in. Okay, we now have Giso. So, there's a couple of things that we need to do. We need to... Um, we need a bigger mess hall. And we can put some art in it as well to make it a great hall so that we get the bonuses from that. Um, what else do we need? We need uh, a bed for Giso. Probably do with actually just having a, a better barracks. Bar barracks. I mean, there's room over here, but... I mean, we are kind of getting into... There's a lot of room over here. There's a lot of room over here. I don't know what... Uh, there's so much space taken up in the base right now with... Farms and... More farms and critter farms and everything else. We might need to move some of this stuff away eventually. But it's not a priority right now, right? That could be something that we do uh, like later on. Okay, this can be deconstructed. It does not need to be here. Same hey, with Boyo, this. There's a licensed planetoid engineer. Uh -huh. This bomb you built yesterday. Yeah. If you put an extra pipe on a tank output, it becomes a splitter. But if you put one on an input, it becomes an overflow pipe. Oh. So connect your overflow to the in. So connect my overflow to the to the in. Hang on a second. Uh, VT leaves. Thanks so much for the ten. I think it's... Okay, so hang on. You're saying if you put an extra pipe 
on a tank output, it becomes a splitter. Yeah, so that's exactly what we had. We had an extra pipe on the output. Uh, but if you put one on an input, it becomes an overflow. Oh, I see. So instead of having the pipe coming out of here like this, you would just have this pipe go up here, right? As an overflow. So you'd always have this tank full if you wanted it. And then everything else would just go up off of here, right? Okay, VT Leaves, you learn something new every day, and that was uh, a new thing that I learned today, and I appreciate you teaching me this thing. I'm not going to go in and fix that right now, because I think what we have now is fine for now, but I'll bear that in mind, okay? it's it's I've, I've, I've committed it to my my memory banks now, so I know. I'll do it after, exactly, yeah. It's likely that I will just do it after. Look at all this chlorine on this level. Jesus. And it's gone. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'll remember that for sure. That is good, solid, good, solid info. Like, that's the best info. Money can... What the heck is this thing? What's a som somnium synthesizer? It's huge. It's filled with brains. There's a pajama cubby here as well. I guess we want to uh, dig down here and check out all this stuff now that we can. Um, all this liquid is going to follow us down as well, which is kind of annoying. There is a, a teleporter here that we can break into. And check out, see where it leads to. We've got some lockers up here that we could take a look at. There's a Gravitas shipping container here. I don't know what that does either. It's a whole bunch of weird stuff. And then there's this um, crazy room up here, right? The neural vacillator, which we can send somebody to. That could be useful. Problem with only watching VODs is you have to suffer in silence when Sips makes dick-ripping mistakes. I know, well, that's just part of it, isn't it? Especially a game like this. Uh, I, like, I've played it enough to know bits and pieces, but there's still tons of stuff, right? I think you, I think you just do have to make a lot of mistakes leading up to knowing what you're doing. I think we're pretty close to the top if we want to explore up a bit more. I don't know how much lower this goes down before we hit um, magma. Liquid, liquid magma. Liquid magma. I love that. I love, I love how it, it's, it's automated. I love that. I just love it. It makes you just feel like uh, so secure, right? Until, of course, you run out. Activate. Okay, let's activate this and let's inspect this as well. Okay, looks like we got some... Sweep. So in here we don't want... Data banks. We want the data banks to go to the lab. Okay. So this is uh, this has been activated now, but we don't have the uh, the other side. There's there's this thing here too. There's a biobot builder which is decommiss decommissioned. My duplicates have discovered a laboratory full of dusty machinery. 
the vestiges of another colony's experiments, perhaps? It is unclear whether the apparatus is intended for biological experimentation or advanced mechatronics, or both. I don't know. This, this is, this I don't know. What I do know is that this lines up perfectly with uh, my base grid, which is really good, really great. Uh, we've got all this brine over here that is not uh, flowing, free, freely flowing as I'd expect it to. I guess now we can kind of check uh, what's in here too. It's, you know, it's a little cold, but... See what it is. We know what this is. How's the oxygen coming along? It's not not bad, you know. Not too bad at all. It might be a little too cold for him over here. He might get hypothermia. I have to go warm up. He's sneezing. He's already sneezing. Do 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 This is another one that we can activate. Oh, there's something uh right next to this too. Holy crap. Let's investigate. Dowie, I love it as well when something lines up perfectly. I think it's just the, the great, the greatest, the best. Okay, I can see some magma, so we're get we're close to the bottom here now. There's not much. This is just like some crust before the uh, before the bottom. Good. Which means that we're probably pretty close to the top here, too, because this looks like a crusty bit maybe before the, the top. So in terms of exploring, I think we've done pretty good. Just got to find all the uh, all the vents and stuff. And then um, we can go and uh, start um, scoping out Crudini. See if there's anything that we can get from there to send back to here or, you know... Maybe do something over there that will benefit the uh, the base. Send somebody over there to live full time, even. Do some full time living on Crudini. So these guys contend crops for you? If you put them in into a farm? No, I didn't open the cryopod on Crudini, no. I didn't. I was too afraid. I was too afraid to do it. I didn't know what was going to come out of there, you know? So 
something died up here. One of these sweetles died up here and left some meat. Left some sweet, sweet meat behind. How do you do like this super zoom out? There's a way to do it, isn't there? There's a way to super zoom out. Um, what are we missing for flow redirection, liquid distribution, liquid based refinement? We're going to need. Oh, Alt S for screenshot mode. Oh, okay, look. That's our whole base, Alt S. It's quite big. It's quite a big base. Lots of CO2. We've, we've dug out a lot of it, but there's still much more to dig out. Oh yeah, yuck, he's gonna get yucky lungs, isn't he? Because the um, they don't need to use the mask um, to go up. Well, that's fine because the oxygen will go will will rise, right? Along with like uh, hydrogen, which is happening right now. But that's okay too. Our hydrogen levels are still looking pretty good, all things considered. The spawn is now powering the entire base. What's in here? We gotta dig out one more tile to see. Alright, this supply teleporter unit is activated. So I think you have to activate the ones on the other side, right? Probably on Crudini and wherever this one goes to. <clears throat> it doesn't it doesn't tell you though, right? This one is making hot polluted oxygen. Ugh. Why are you so hungry? We got so much food. I was going to go to the bathroom first. Go eat. Go eat now. Supplying, ranching, doctoring, farming, destructive vomiter and binge eater. He's got to go eat, look. It's keeping him awake. Okay, let's get some more research done. Um, Micro-targeted medicine? No. Celestial detection? Notification systems? Space program? Crash plan? We need this. Solid transport's not quite done yet either, so let's finish that. And then we can go into smelting. This is a cool steam vent. This is producing uh, 110 degree steam. So that's just more water. 
It's just another one of these, right? We got two cool steam vents now. I don't even want to accidentally break this one open, the polluted oxygen. Ah, I see space. Alright, cool. Very cool. Very, very cool. Open it and put air filters on top? No thanks. I don't want any air filters up, up there. I just don't want that thing. I don't want it erupting at all. We got enough farts. Um, let's open this up. Oh, this guy's active again. So solid transport is done. Um, let's get smelting. Is there any type of gas that if they touch it, it will hurt them? Like hazardous material? It's usually just stuff that's too hot. If you don't have like a Atmo suit on. But there's not nothing that will like just instantly, you know, kill somebody. It, it takes some doing. What about magma? No, even magma with an Atmos suit, they, they can survive for a little bit. Not that long, but it's not instant. Yucky lungs. We're going through the water pretty quick. Surprisingly, surprisingly quick. Do 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 I just open up ice biomes and hope for the best for dealing with yeah that's exactly it. 
I just open them, open them right up and let that, all that cool air blanket the colony and then I hope for the best off the back of that too. That's all you can do, honestly. Um, and gate? I think we can just take this apart. <laughs> just take, take the door apart and go up there and use the thing. All this free metal in here, too. We'd take it. Furniture. A cot? Okay, and then let's put some, um... Put some decor in here too. We need to get some some carpets as well would be good. Okay, we're going to move everybody into this this big barracks, which uh, hopefully is not going to be too big. How, what's the maximum size for barracks, actually? Uh, barracks, 64. Luxury barracks is also 64. Okay, so what we'll have to do is we'll have to cut this in half. Um... Otherwise, we won't get the uh, the benefit. Um, and this is granite. So, furniture will go we can we can slam more in here and just um rely on the pots at the top. And then that just gives us more... Yeah, let's just do that, actually. That'll be fine. So we can fit... <laughs> Whoops. And then in this one, we can fit... Almost. We'll put a sculpting block in, and then we'll do... Um, some uh, hanging pots. <laughs> yes.
I should have enough seeds for these pots. I, I can I, I can always get some more. Hopefully. I'm hoping. Hoping and wishing and praying. Nice. Have we made any more progress coming up here yet? No, we've dug all this stuff out, though. I've got briar seeds. Look at this. I got so many of these. Yes. So now we should have, yes, double barracks. Look at that. Good. Okay, so now we have uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have space for eleven. We got beds for eleven dupes. We only have nine, so we can get a couple more in. No one can sit to eat. No, no, I'm going to I'm going to solve that problem in a minute. At least everybody can sleep. Sandstone dirt um binge eater with decreased excavation. I'll just get some dirt. I'd rather have dirt than you. I would, though. I would actually fully rather have dirt. I'd rather have dirt than any of those dupes. And that's the truth. Look, they can breathe up here. Oh my god, we're almost through. I can't believe it. Keep breathing. Never give up. No breaks. No sleep till... Brooklyn! What's this? This is a minor volcano. It erupts with uh, with red piping hot magma. 1,726 degree magma comes out of this thing. Uh, that's a lot of heat. What could go wrong? Well, I'll tell you what, though. I mean, if we put... Uh, what's the melting point for um, just about everything? I was I was gonna say if we if we put like um if we put like a, like some metal tile on there or something and like superheated that metal tile and it didn't melt down we could just drop 
um, you know, polluted water onto it, brine, salt water, whatever, and uh, and separate um, separate the stuff away. Right? We 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 could have dirt. Make a lot. We could make some dirt with the polluted water. You could set it up to mine Bitcoin. True. Yeah. All right. So cool steam vent. We have a volcano now as well. Is there anything else over here? There's some uranium. It's a bunch of coal. There's our hydrogen vent. There might be some um, oil down here too, right? We might find some oil. Could be good. Everybody loves oil. Uh, this is this is about to uh, about to blow again. We sh we should be topping up with water, but I need to um, get some of this cold water. pumped out of here. Are the are the volcanoes the same height as the uh, as the geysers or are they is it 3? You might solve a mystery or rewrite history in DuckTales. The danger lurks behind you. There's a stranger out to find you. DuckTales. I butchered your fam family song. Sorry. Sorry. It's a minus, minus 11. Brine. Okay, polluted water. We still want to suck some polluted water up. Whoops, what happened here? Um, this brine, we want to fill this tank up with more cold brine and then use that to cool some of this water, right? Eventually. Because that water is going to be too hot going in here. Well, it might. It will. It, I mean, it will. I mean, it, it, it has to. Okay, let's get this done. We still have so much research to do. Jeez. We can make a juicer, a spice grinder, and a plant pulverizer. Crushes sleet wheat grain and pinch a peppernut to extract brekeen. Brekeen can be used to refill the critter fountain. What the f... What did I just read? What does it all mean? What does any of that mean? Okay. Let's assign... Who are we assigning to this? To the Neural Vacillator. I think we're going to assign Dovendir to it. Dovendir, get your ass in there. Up he goes. He's in. Whew. Dovendir's brain is still vibrating, but they've never felt better. Dovendir acquired the sunny disposition trait. Look at that, sunny disposition. This duplicate has an unwaveringly positive outlook on life. Stress minus 20% per cycle. Great. <laughs> oh my god. 
You could not ask for better from that. That is so good. He was the guy who was uh, always stressing. There are no charges left in this vacillator. Okay. Okay, great. Look, we've got a whole bunch of uh, metal that we can use for various things from this room. That's good. Okay, we also want to um, break this open so that we can do a bit of work around this. We're going to empty this all out first, and then once this is dormant, analyze it properly tame it well we need to get some of this brine down here because we're going to use it to cool some of this water first so this water is 66 degrees oh that's so hot like little trickles of it going through here it's it's actually losing a lot of heat just making its way over here should lose even more heat so actually by the time this goes in oh look at that 20 degrees it's pretty good I think it's just because it's like like a, a such a small amount of water I don't think this steam can maintain its uh, its heat in here. Maybe it can actually. It's quite hot. going liquid. It's turning to liquid. Slowly. Uh, right. So let's go um, and get this stuff done too. Oil well, polymer press, natural gas, oil refinery, petroleum generator, sugar engine, and small solid oxidizer tank. Sure. It's a lot of research to do. Um... Let's also deconstruct all these beds and all this stuff too, just for now. Okay, good. Um, let's get all this stuff swept up as well. We have so much food. All right, furniture, mess tables. We'll make these out of copper for the extra decor. Still not enough um, room. I guess we'll have to have two two mess halls eventually. This one can be deconstructed, and then what we'll do is we'll do furniture 
sculpting block. Sculpting block. And then these will be two great hulls. Two mess halls, extra messy, yes. Get Cap Captain Payne onto the art. Wow! Look at the look at the uh, the decor in the uh, in the barracks. That's great. Hopefully, this will start relieving a bit of stress. That would be good. Vomiter with supplying, cooking, iron gut, green thumb, but can't do machinery? Let's just take the copper, I think. Why not? Okay. Need a pump. Um, also need to make some... Um, actually, we can just... We can just get up here. It's fine. And then once we're up here, we can... Do this. We'll pump all this out for now. Put it on here. Um, plumbing, liquid pipe. Oh, flip. What a mess. So I think what we'll do is we'll do this and this. that too to tidy up some of this piping this guy is he's off again Plumbing. I think this guy's pretty much done here. Meaning that we can um, deconstruct this. So we want some more polluted water, although. We are emptying the toilets now into the polluted water. But it's not going to be enough to uh, to sustain these arbor trees, right? Which is basically all that we're using it for now. It's not really cooling. I think I need to cool in here as well. 
so that this turns into uh, into water. Maybe instead of actually... Maybe I do have to keep it cool in here because... Um, oh, yeah, that could, that could work, actually. I have to keep it cool in here so that this... Um, condensates right into into water but then i could just cool the water at the same time right i could just actually keep it really cool in here generally and then i won't need to cool the water again i could just dump it straight into here this is uh not dormant for another hundred cycles though <laughs> which is kind of an <laughs> kind of annoying The pump is completely broken. It got too hot. I made it out of iron, which... I think I need to... I need, like, some steel or something, right? So we delete all of this. And then the poop the poop water. Was this can go. All this can go. can have um, a liquid bridge connect like that this can go That's for the um, carbon um, skimmer, which both are not working now. Holy crap, we skimmed a lot of carbon. That's great. That's really good. Um, there's a lot of steam in here, and it's hot. I should have uh, I, I should have tried to cool it sooner, but. We'll, uh, we'll figure it out. We've got enough water for now, I think.
No, oh, it doesn't even need that. Okay. So there's polluted water in here as well, so we probably need to, um... <coughs> Pardon me. We'll need to filter it, right? Where can we filter it? I think we'll filter it up here, actually, and then just drop the non-brine back down here. Conduction panel carries liquid, allowing extreme temperature exchange with overlapping buildings. <coughs> can function in a vacuum. Can be run through wall and floor tiles. Wow. Carries liquid, allowing extreme, extreme temperature exchange with overlapping buildings. Oh, cool. So I could put this, like, here, for example? Oh, yeah, I probably don't want it on the insulation, though, right? Oh, it's to cool equipment? Oh, neat. All right, I mean, we might need to look into that. All right, liquid filter... We just need some power. It's typically used in space where you want to drop temp in a vacuum. Oh, I see, I see. So like, um, like those ore miners when they're in, uh, in space, for example. When they overheat and you have no way of cooling them down. Is that what you mean? That's cool. He's not going to be too happy about this. But he's got sunny disposition now, so he's going to be happy about just about anything. Which is nice. Sucrose? We now have some sucrose? Wow. That's what these guys eat, right? Sweetles? Or do they... That's what they make. No, it's what they eat, right? Oh, no, they... They excrete sucrose. They eat sulfur. That's right, sulfur. Oh, hang on a second. So this is just brine, right?
Oh, look. <laughs> the water is 97 degrees. <laughs> that is... That is hot. That is so hot. Okay, good. We're pumping out all this brine now. Dropping it into this big cold pit. So if I have like a, a loop um, here, it, this this brine is just gonna warm up too quickly, right? It evaporates at 102 degrees. Well, I mean, we don't have to worry about it evaporating, I don't think, but. <clears throat> we might need to use a, an aqua tuner. Destructive, Ugly Crier, and Destructive. This one has Germ Resistance, Increased Athletics, Increased Creativity, but Decreased Construction. Is interested in suit wearing, operating, and cooking. We could get a care package of ethanol. I'll just grab the ethanol. <sighs> I didn't even know what to do with ethanol. Hmm. There's got to be a decent way of cooling all of this, but and and doing some like repeat cooling as well, right? Okay, well, one thing for sure is we don't want this pumping. Even if we fix it, we don't want it pumping that hot water. It's too hot. I need something that can, um, iron ore, so iron ore, aluminum and copper, overheat temperature is 75, 75, and 75, so the, the liquid pump, this liquid pump will just overheat at 75 with all of these. Does it change if, if I have like a different uh, type of metal? What's the melting point for steel? Gold or steel? Okay. The stuff I have now is not not up to the not up to the task
Food has decayed. Oh, no. 13 pickled meals have decayed. It's not safe down here. It's ta it took so long for it to decay, though, to be fair. It really did take quite, quite some time, didn't it? Um, right, so for Brine, which is at 4 degrees, it's pretty good. Um, how do we... How do we refine this? Desalinator? Remove salt from brine or salt water, producing water? So, this thing does produce some heat. It needs 480 watts of power. But will produce some salt for us? And some heat. And some water. Okay. I mean, it's nice and cool around here right now anyway because of the, the brine. So I guess I could just put this here and start start pumping. So we need the we need the water, right? Just put it in the brine. Actually, just want to have some. Uh, actually, it'll probably use it um, as quick as it comes in, right? Do we ever? I guess there'll be a time though when this will fill up before this because it's bigger. So maybe we should just put it here. And then this will output water. Um, the water that it outputs overheat temperature 75 so is there any well i guess we'll see let's build one and then just see what happens right high thermal conductivity we'll make it out of aluminum Oh yeah, we do want to refine it outside the insulation, but actually the, the base isn't um, completely closed, but we should probably close it now. <clears throat> because we have the carbon skimmer on the bottom and all the chlorine is out, so maybe it's time to, uh, to close this off, which means that we'll probably move this stuff out too. And then this'll, this'll, uh, protect us from the heat so here we probably want some sort of um, liquid airlock or something <clears throat> They can't um, hop over like this, right? It would have to go like like that. But actually, we need to put some uh, some liquid in there first. Go for a liquid lunch instead. Let's try this again, I guess. 
last time we tried to do one, we failed miserably. It didn't it didn't work? So we tried to put this like this, and it didn't uh, connect up, right? Is that because you have to have the whole bottom tile full? As full as it can be? Where does the drop need to be? Where the bottle thing is right now? The drop would have to be there. <coughs> oh, it needs liquid on the two raised blocks. Oh, how do you do that? So we're going to cap off, like, maybe here. Move this rock crusher out of here. Move all these, <laughs> move all this, all this gas out of here too. Why is this in my base? Let me tell you how to play this game. I have 1,000 hours and have sniffed my own butthole countless times. <laughs> Chonkers, me too. God, my butthole smells so good. Hey, Chonkers, thanks so much for the 10. Remind me how to make a, a liquid airlock. I, I, I gots to know. I gots to know. It's got to be a T-shape? It is a T-shape. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to have... Okay, the way that you used to do it was you'd have a block here. So you'd fill this bit with some water and you'd put a block here and then the water would like stretch to touch this block and that would create the, uh, the airlock. Is it still the same? Put one more block where? How is that helpful? <laughs> Put one more block. <laughs> There's a million block spaces. Pretty sure it looked bigger? I don't know. I always thought it was like this, but... Liquid lock. Oh, I see. So they gotta, like, drop down one. It's easier... Okay, so you make it like a T, and then you fill... Right, I see, I see, I see. So it's more like... Um, if we want them to go down into it, they'd have to go, like, here. So it's like this. And then you get rid of this and this, and you put this like that. Okay, let's try like this.
Oh, shit. What was done to my... It's cut off my power. So let's remove this ladder. Let's get um, a bottle emptier. Here. Wait, what are we emptying uh, into this? Ethanol? I guess we got tons of ethanol. And water. Magma? Brine? I guess we got a lot of brine. We could just um, use brine for now. Shouldn't get too hot around here. How's our, um, our oxygen? 13 degrees? 13 degrees? 13 degree oxygen? Very nice. this brine. Zhish. 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 Alright, I gotta sweep all this brine. <clears throat> Actually, I don't even need to do this, because I've disabled it here, so it doesn't even need to be sweep only. It can just be brine. Just put the brine in there. trying to escape. M McCritters. 
<coughs> You're blaming this on Brian? Oh my god. Some uh, water got in here. Somehow. How did normal water get in here? Flip. <coughs> Pardon me. No, we're out of, um, we ran out of science water as well. <coughs> Wrangling. Look at how hot um, these insulated tiles are. What happened? What happened there? Where's Where's my Brian? Where Where'd my Brian go? doing the aha a bit of brine but every time they go through they'll get soggy feet right and they'll get pissed off about it although stress is down to one percent we've done it Alright, we just need uh, a little bit more. And, um... Once that's done, then we can start on the next thing. It takes so long for them to do, like, simple things. Oh, look, there's a bunch of brine in here, too. Wait, why is there brine in here? There's not another, um geyser is there I don't think there is I think that was I think maybe we've found almost all the geysers on this planet is that possible there's not that too many How are we going to get rid of the chlorine? Well, it's below the base now, so it's not um, its not a huge issue. Don't escape. They got out. Dowie, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to wrangle them all up.
Dowie's on it. Look at this. The Wrangle Master. He's on it. Look, he's wrangling everyone up. Uh, the hydrogen levels are still looking pretty good here. Wait, we don't we haven't really done any like big um oh industrial stuff yet, right? So we're not I think actually doing this uh desalin des desalination is gonna be uh the the big one. We might want to get a, a separate um, transformer for it, too. I think we should get a separate transformer for it. Power transformer. Large. I think we can just get a small one for now. It's fine. Let's get... Uh, we'll build two. We'll build one for the... Um, For the base, inside of the base, and then we'll build one for um, some industrial stuff. That'd be fine. Why are you guys here? What are you doing here? You're idle? At a time like this? When more brine is needed? Okay, I guess no more brine is needed. So let's get to work on... Who's this? Giso? <laughs> Giso, why are you so slow? They're trapped. Oh, I suppose they would be, yeah. I can't believe Dowie was trapped out there. He went out to rain. Ah, oh, it's because we closed them in from here, right? So now there's only one way in and out of the base. And pretty soon we'll have a liquid lock. I can't believe they got stuck. I can't believe somebody dropped some barbecue on the ground of the mess hall here. Uh, this mess hall should be a great hall. And this one is still just a mess hall. To become a great hall, it needs... It's got a recreational building. It needs a fancy decor um, item, but it needs a minimum size of 32 tiles. So it's just going to be a mess hall for now. It's too small. It just needs to be a bit bigger. 32 tiles. So what we can do with this thing to cool it down is... Um, what are we doing? Oh yeah, refinement, right? And we're going for a desalinator?
plug the fridges in now? Man, it's like, it's so much um, power needed. There's got to be a better way, right? If you put the, if you drop the uh, the food like in a vacuum or something, like, will it still go bad? Probably not, right? If, if I could make a vacuum tile and use like some automation, the auto sweeper, for example, to pick stuff up and push it along where dupes could actually pick it up from. Yeah, they, they nerfed the dropping it down into CO2 thing. I've, I've got these in CO2 right now, and uh, it's... I think stuff spoils. Not as fast, but still it still does. I think they changed it. <laughs> so that pump comes out of there, and this pipe work for now is not needed. We'll figure out what we can do with this uh, later, I think. So that's not needed either. Um, I don't think any of this stuff is needed anymore either. So we'll have to get in here again. And sweep the floor. So gas, so actually this is already a lock here, right? Because gas can't get past this. So the liquid lock is is already in place pretty much. Who's starving? Beard daddy. What didn't you eat? Rust? No. Vomiter, binge eater, vomiter. Bedside manor, iron guts, super duper hard digging with doctoring and tiding. I don't know. Your daddy's so slow with the oxygen mask on. I guess it gives you athletics minus two, though, I guess. So. Okay, good. We finished this. Oh. 
we'll have to go through like that if we want to get this down to here. Try to pick up all this crap that's in this tank. The end game is you just turn everything into pee. It sounds like my kind of game. Wow, look at this. Look at all these people that just turned up and took all this stuff. That's great. At least it's not going to be trapped in there when we seal it off again. Carnies, good job. Seal this up. <coughs> and then we'll need um, another bridge here. this um, this battery won't be needed anymore and then we can get rid of this this she just all this and then we can hook this up to here right All right, good. So we'll have like four different um, <coughs> power zones. Power zones? Power zones. Who wants to talk about power zones? How young am I? I'm 26 years old. <laughs> I'm 27 years old. Sorry, I, I'm 27. Ew. Okay, the base is without power for a moment, owing to um, some uh, some cable laying that needs to be done by the power company. It's me, the power company. Should be back up and running. We are.
Oh my god, the, look at we've almost filled up this whole tank. With the brine. So much brine. Okay. Uh, plumbing. We're gonna need a liquid pump. We're gonna wanna pump this liquid. Um, down here. But actually, what we could do with, with it is, um, we can, uh, we can cool down this machine with this, uh, with this brine first, right? Before it goes in. We'll cool down, we'll cool down the machine a bit. And then, uh, when it comes out, we'll, we'll output it uh, insulated Let's see if it cools this thing down okay and then power Power, we want to hook it on to um, this one. Okay, hydrogen levels are still good. We're gonna have to wait for this thing to stop, uh, to go into dormancy before we can actually do anything with this, I think. I don't know what we're gonna do though. It'd be, it'd be cool to cool it and then just um, use the water, but maybe it just needs some more space. Maybe I didn't put it in enough space. If it just has some more space for the steam to uh, to spread out to, it, it, it won't be able to maintain its heat. It's going. Hydrogen vent NJ41-2 times 1 is rumbling. There's a slight rumble in the jungle. these plants I'm 
so many plants. What's the blocked off? This one here? Cool steam vent? Or this one? This one's a polluted... A hot polluted oxygen vent. Which I, I don't really know what to do with right now. That's why I blocked it off. Just wasn't sure... I wasn't sure how to proceed. Pip eggs? Binge eater, destructive, and binge eater? Pip eggs it is. Even though stress levels are down to 0% by some miracle, um, the uh, destructive um, reaction is was really annoying, wasn't it? Holy crap. Hey, look, the uh, auto sweeper is delivering the uh, the uh, the stuff for the pipe work. <laughs> That's great. I do like that. I like that a lot. doing something. It's creating four degree water. Perfect. Hooray! Uh oh. I'm but what if I get what if I'm thirsty because that one drop is me <laughs> right? It'll burn you. Oh thank you. You put two tea bags yeah, in. Like You're like dynamite. So it's like, oh, it's gonna... oh, it's, oh, it's all right. I'll, I'll do it. Thank you. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Oh, do you mind taking that? Oh, I don't. I, I'm not sure if I saw the second one. Hang on a sec. Oh yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, you want it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. Just as well if we're flexible. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. It's okay, I'll invoice you for them. <laughs> thank you. Oh, this water is nice and cold. I got tea, but uh, a couple of drops were lost. What's with, What's up with this? Pressure. Oh, weird. Yeah, there's just not a lot of uh, a lot of oxygen coming in here for some reason, and maybe you just need to like uh, airflow the uh, the floor. There's a bunch of, like, uh, carbon and stuff in there. Oh, 
Alright, this rock crusher can go now. Well, look, it's keeping it nice and cold. It's so cool down here. Nice! And what's it... What's it producing? Salt. Where does the salt get stored? Or has it not made any salt yet? That's looking a little better. It needs to be serviced? Or did Erica just take the salt out? How hot's the steam? 96 degrees? The water is just a little bit warmer? Might run another one of these, since we're gonna we have so much uh, brine. I wonder if I just do like a half and half. Actually, we kind of need that there. It's a lot of power, though. Is the only thing. The hydrogen um, generators are on, like, all the time, pretty much now. Which means that we will be using up um, a lot of this quickly. So we'll want to try to uh, swap over to this now. thing is still erupting. Hydrogen, hold your course. Is there piss in the salt water? No, there's a bit of normal water. There, This is piss in the salt water, yeah. This just got mixed in up here. We'll try to cap off the vent, keep it pure. 
Keep it piss free. Piss free in 2023. I don't think the piss will come down to the um, the desal plant because we got a we got a filter. We have a filter on it. It's only sending the good stuff. And when it can't send the good stuff anymore, guess what? We'll change it. Could it be? Well, there you go. So they, so Giso, for example, is down here doing what exactly? Giso, what are you doing? Oh, you have to clean it. All right. He's just doing his best. All right, I think we have to do this because we're we're going to run out of water. We use it. We use it fast. You, you can almost do with having another one of these, but that we can't really uh, add. Um, we can't justify another 450, right? Oh, who's trapped? Oh. These guys, it turns out. Just a little tiny bit of hypothermia. up to right now I think we're we're holding out okay for now, but we are we are blasting through this hydrogen in the in the tank. Who's trapped now? Dude, uh, what are you doing? Why why are why are you there? How did you even get there? Go 
go home. What a big Dumbo. Let's put a big pole. Yeah, I think I did. I think we have prioritized nearby work on game. Oh, uh, maybe not. Where is it? In priorities, the the gear icon in priorities. Enable proximity. Tells my duplicates always choose the closest, most urgent errand to perform. When disabled, duplicates will choose between two high priority. Okay, let's do enable proximity then. Sorry, yeah, maybe I don't have that on. That might work out a little bit better. We have such a long way to go. They're not even going to have time to eat their omelets. Somebody's eating somebody else's omelet. That's sad, eh? Don't even have time to eat an omelet. Do 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 do. Holy crap, look at how much food we have. I don't think this manual generator is needed anymore. Maybe we can get some other jobs done instead of running on the wheel. Look at this. Somebody's sick. Davindir's got hypothermia. <clears throat> I 
think we just fixed a, a mask. Okay, I need to look at who's building here, because if you have no skill in building, you should not be building, right? Two skills, two skills, two skills, three skills? So who was that that was building before? Oh, it was Jesus Crust. Okay, let's... Make sure that he doesn't build anymore because he's too slow. <laughs> he could do other stuff instead. Where do we want to put rot? Composter? <clears throat> no, there's no reed fiber on this map that I've seen yet. There might be on the other map that we have uh, teleporter access to. I haven't really explored it much. We went over there briefly to check it out, but... Hydrogen's escaping? Oh shit, what happened? What happened here? What was in the way? Yeah, they broke the seal, it's all it's getting out. No. Oh, was this always empty with the ladder? Oh, that's my fault then. <clears throat> okay, well, there's still quite a bit in there. I mean, we're going to have to go in there at some point anyway. Break the seal. So I got to get pumps and stuff in there. We're going to need to pump hard. Where do I put all this rot? Ooh, it's getting cold around here. It's getting really cold. Look at that. It's pretty good. Me. I don't want to eat that. Um, what's happening with blueprints? How come nobody answers me when I ask? I've asked two times. Why aren't I getting any new blueprints? Mm. You get three a week and it rolls over on a Thursday, right? You only get three a week? Jeez. Uh, 
Um, you want some grub fruit preserve? Yes. More food. I don't know what either of these things are. I can't wait to find out, but I just got I just got other tasky waskies that I need to to tackle first. Beer Daddy, more so than any other dupe, lives life right on the edge. It's crazy, eh? Every time I see Beer Daddy, Beer Daddy is just like somewhere they shouldn't be or getting stuck or sleeping rough. Sad. It's in there already. Okay, good. to build a uh, insulated tile here. So we'll need to make sure that this is locked. Do not want anybody going in there causing huge problems. Letting chlorine or some shit in there. Don't do it. Dowie, don't do it. here to pick up a pinch of pepper seed. Okay, perfect. A pinch of a pinch of peppernut plant. up. This we like to see. We like to see water going up. Man, can we turn this pump off? Can we please turn this pump off? Nope. Nope. Uh, 
I mean, it's good that the pole is here, though. That's really good. Look at this. They get, they get home so fast. They're never going to be late for dinner again. Snip the wire? Uh, I see, uh, yeah, you're right. I could snip the wire, actually. I'm going to snip the wire. There, now it doesn't need to be... Um, disabled by a dupe. I disabled it with a snip. Make sure that bleach stone doesn't emit more chlorine. We do not need more chlorine. That's for damn sure. to get food back we managed to get stressed down we've got water we've got a sub, uh, a source of water and power we're just working on um, getting sorted out and we have uh, alternatives if we need them as well right because we've got all that lumber too which reminds me we need to move that over here No, they, they can't drink their own piss. Well, they can, but they just won't last very long doing it. How many cycles left till this guy's dormant? 78! Oh my god! Oh my god!
Oh, we'll do that after. Let's, um, let's try to get some of this stuff done. So we're going to go into some um, gas reservoirs, the top here. Which means that we're going to need some gas, gas pipes. Anyone good here? Machinery, cuisine, decreased cuisine, quick learner, supplying, digging, cannot do doctoring errands with a destructive stress reaction. Uh, I don't want more of those. It was bad enough that we had the other guy smash. It was so annoying, wasn't it? It's not the end of the world, but it, it is annoying if we can avoid it. And I mean, I can't guarantee that we won't um, have a big stress out moment again. Because like last time, it just sort of crept up. Crept up out of nowhere. Oops, might be, hang on. I wonder if we can put this, uh, is there like a, is there like a, an optimal shape for this or can I just put it, can I put the pump like right next to here and then just close it into like this small space? Probably can, right? And then it'll get all of the water. Bottom right is optimal for pulling all the water. What, so like here or here? Or like right next to it. Lower. In in this space here. Oh, like here. It's like a bit further down. game wants liquids to always go down and then to the right. Oh, weird. Okay. So if I do um, this and I put my pump here and then I just close this off, it'll be fine. No 
Okay. 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 Nice. All right. This is uh. This is looking good. So you just got to make sure that there's nothing uh, in here that is going to. Cause some huge problems with uh, like other gases and stuff. I don't know if we can analyze this. Is there, actually, it's not too hot in here, so we we probably could. Once we uh, once we can access it, I can take a look at it, and see what's going on. I'm out of aluminum ore. Holy crap. That's not good. I think there's still quite a bit around though, right? There's copper here and stuff too. get this bleach stone out of here. Pick it up. Pick it up. I don't think there's any room to vent uh, non-hydrogen out of here, though, is the problem. It doesn't get too hot in here, which is good. Um, so we just get a gas pump and make it out of... Um, pff, doesn't matter. Iron, I guess. Um, and then I guess we're going to need a filter as well. Which is annoying. But... Um, eventually we can turn the filter off, right? Once it uh, Once it creates a vacuum in there. And then nothing else goes in. Might as well analyze it. 
And then once, at least once it's analyzed and we can move all this stuff out of here, then we're, we're good to go, right? We don't have to come back in. Somebody's scalding. I guess being right next to it while it's going is not good. <laughs> oh, this poor little ice biome is uh, is is not doing too hot now. It's still pretty cold in there, but we might need to uh, think about cooling our uh, oxygen somewhere else, right? Well, it depends. Uh, it's still coming out like 17 degrees. It's not bad. Maybe in this uh, colder water would be better. Jesus Christ is, is gonna die. Get out of there. Stop going near the exploding geyser. <laughs> He's almost dead. <laughs> oh no. Okay, we're gonna have to set up um, a sick bay. Almost dead. He's just gonna go do some farming. <laughs> oh man. There, Jesus Christ is recovering. Captain, actually, all these guys are gonna need to recover. I guess it is kind of hot in here now. <laughs> it is so hot in here. Oh my lord. Why did it get so hot? What is 125 degrees? Hang on. This thing... Oh yeah, it's because the hydrogen gas comes out at 500 degrees. I forgot about that. Oh man, that's too funny. Uh, we're going to need uh, to cool this down somehow. That's too hot. That's too hot. So we want uh, hydrogen. We're gonna have to go in there after it's cooled down a bit. Don't you go in. What are you doing in here? Why? That was so close.
Okay. Let's keep it locked until, uh... It's idle right now, but not dormant. I don't, th I don't know if we'll ever get rid of this heat, though. I guess we'll get rid of it once we suck everything out of here and create a vacuum. Hey, Hap Films, what's up? Thanks so much for the raid. Welcome, raiders. Um, this gas pump is at 73 degrees and, and holding, but with iron, it'll overheat at 75, which is not great. So we might not be able to pump a lot of hydrogen out of here. I only need to find some gold or make some steel or something. Okay, gas pipe. at 74. Oh, it's getting really close. It's uh, it's damaged. It's the heat is too much. All right, we just got to pump out as much as we can here and hope that this goes dormant soon. I haven't done anything on the other asteroid yet. No, we've almost lost this asteroid like 20 times, so I've just been trying to finish up all the everything I can here my poor pump My poor, my poor damaged pump. Keep pumping. Pump faster. It's okay, the pump's only at 102 degrees right now, it's fine. We got as much hydrogen out of there as we could. Hopefully it's enough for this thing to go dormant and for us to... For it to cool down. It's not going to cool down in there, though. It's insulated, right? There's nowhere for this heat to go, except for through this door, perhaps. It's too hot. Yeah, the door is uh, is hot. Look, it's 93 degrees. A gas pump is very broken at 116 degrees. Oh, there's all this other hot... There's oxygen, polluted oxygen. There's, a lot, there's, there's other hot gas in here. We might be able to to keep the gas pump cool uh, with uh, some sort of like a loop. Maybe using some of this cold water. 
to this cold, polluted water. Although this uh, biome is starting to heat up now. A little. Still, uh, it's still pretty cold, like, up here, though. This brine is still minus 1.5 degrees. I don't know why we've stopped, um... Oh, it needs emptying, that's why. So what, when they empty it, what, what does that give us? Salt? Captain Payne is recovering now. Um, vomiter, ugly crier, and ugly crier. So we'd have supplying, cooking, interior decorator, shriveled taste buds, caregiver, but um, decreased decor. Overjoyed response is super productive. May. Supplying and cooking, though? I mean, I guess supplying is kind of needed, right? I don't know. She would have been pretty good, I guess, but maybe we don't need more dupes right now. Maybe we've got enough to do. We'll start um, storing up some more hydrogen in here and using the little bits of hydrogen that we got out of here. Um, let me go over to Crudini and see what kind of... So we got copper. Um, okay, if we activate this teleporter, we can actually send stuff back. But it looks like we've just got copper, at least at this level. There's a bit of space slime. Oh, look, there's, um, poke shells. If we want to get some of those back for a farm. Uh, there's a bit of coal. There's a kitchen. I like that this, that, that life just carries on over here. I don't think there's anything that we can really use here. That I can see. Oh. Who's starving? This guy's always starving, man. Like, why does he leave it so late to, to eat? Every time. Okay, it's, uh, it's now 200 degrees in here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is so hot. That's way too hot. That's way too hot. I don't know. I don't know how to uh, deal with this this much heat in here. I I I just wanted some hydrogen. Can I radiate it into space? The heat? I don't know. I don't think so. No. Once it once it hits a vacuum, it doesn't uh, transfer anymore. So no, you can't just delete heat in space. And I think the only way that you can delete heat is with a uh, steam turbine. But then that doesn't help us with uh, hydrogen, right? Super hot hydrogen. Make something hot and then vent it. The gas. I need to. Well, I need. I ideally just need to. Um, cool this gas. I just need to cool this top area. Or at least 
I mean, at least if I could cut the heat in... Well, I'd need to cut it in more than half because it's like 200 degrees now. I don't know, I guess it's like 1, 120. I'd still need to cut it by a lot. I don't know if I can just uh, do like one one area. A lot of heat to melt ore. I don't know. While this this thing just erupts so hot, I don't know if there is a, a way of... I mean, it's always just going to get so hot in this room. It does cool down a little bit, though. But when it's erupting, it, it absolutely slams heat in here. It's like 140 now. It was up over 200 at one point. So, I mean... It definitely went down a bit. Look at all this cold air coming from this uh, ice biome. But look, it's it's meeting with... Look at this polluted oxygen outside of here. Look at how hot that is. It's coming through the door, which is almost 100 degrees right now. <laughs> oh my god. This is the kind of issue you just ignore, but then it will kill your colony three hours later. Yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know how to cool this down. I, but I need to use it. Like I, 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 I need it for power. And I can't, I can't just wait for this to go dormant whenever it does. And I, I think it'll just take too long for it to, uh, to cool down anyway. There's just so much heat trapped in here. And it's like 240 now. Fudge. Crazy. Do you need me? Two seconds, chat. Hang on a second. Sorry, I'm back. Um, I mean, we could we could potentially run like some some cooling pipes through, but I don't know what. Uh, I guess I guess we would have to use some liquid, right, to to do it. But then and then aquatune the uh, the liquid when it's hot and loop it back through. Fill it with brine to cool it. What, just like have some brine at the bottom and see if it cools it down? Fill it with sewage. We don't have a, uh, a, a, a uh, polluted um, water geyser though, do we? we? We do have brine though. There's lots of brine here. Our water level is going up again. Some polluted water here. There's a cool steam vent, which <coughs> runs hot, but we can get normal water from. Otherwise, I don't know really what our options are for cooling this down. Cooling down is probably not worth. Just contain the heat and burn the gas. I can't get the gas out of here though. I'd I'd need to I guess I need some steel, right? Is is what I need. If I get if I can have some if I could get um, some steel or some gold, 
then uh, then that pump could just work in there in the heat and then uh, just burn the gas. Steel overheats at 375. I don't think it's going... I think it's going up to about 250. I don't think it... I don't think it's going to hit 375. Check the geysers at the bottom. Well, I don't know if we have any. Oh, there's a geyser down here. It's only three, though. What is that? Oil? Might be oil. There might be some further down. Oh, three is usually lava. Oh, it's a volcano. Okay, so we already have a volcano. Topside as well. Which, uh, again, is too much heat for me to handle. I don't really know what to do. Well, no matter what, we have to wait for this to go dormant now, I think. And we'll run out of um, the little bit of hydrogen that we took. So we might be burning wood again at some point. Okay, we can take all this stuff apart anyway. take all this stuff apart too and then there's all this automation wire that can go as well claim back some of these resources some hot gas. That's some very hot gas. I am no stranger to hot gas. Binge eater, banshee, destructive, decreased decor, but uncultured, grease monkey, cooking and ranching. You're releasing some hot gas right now? Hey. Me too. Me too. I love that. I love releasing hot gas. So, it doesn't seem to... to go... Uh, temperature-wise, it doesn't actually go up above 250 seems to be the limit so i think a steel pump would be fine in there right especially if it's pumping out all of the uh the hydrogen before the uh the heat can uh, can build up because it because it'll for the most part maintain a vacuum i would have thought right if we're using it fast enough
I don't even know how I can make steel. I need. I think I need um, industrial uh, stuff for that, right? I would need industrial uh, strength machinery, which uh, I don't really uh, have the power for. And also, oh man, we're almost out of this already, if you can believe that. We went through it so fast. Okay, let's put this automation back on here. Um, sorry, it's in shipping. Iron and copper refined metals. I don't know if there was any steel in this room. There's some plastic, though. Yeah, I checked the other asteroid, and I don't think... Uh, n from what I could see, like, just in the... where you start, I, there wasn't anything useful, but... If we go and have a, uh... And have a look, I'm sure there's... it's probably some decent stuff over there. Gone down a little bit. The temperature. <laughs> okay, so we want, um, not raw mineral. Organic? No. Liquefiable industrial ingredient. Lumber. Okay, and then let's get this automation wiring um, set up to these guys too. The doors were the teleporters made of steel? No, copper ore on those ones. This robotic arm, I don't know what it's made of. This ceiling robot. There's some glass from the lab windows. Sandstone from the uh, walls and stuff. This is all sandstone, but no, there doesn't seem to be any steel there. This is um, aluminum. This uh, Biobot Builder is made of steel. I 
Ah, these doors are made of steel down here. This thing is made of steel. So is this mailbox. I don't know if we need these. Refinement, metal refinery. Oh, we can put it down here, I suppose. Make it out of um, igneous rock. So this thing is going to... Um, create quite a bit of heat and needs some cooling as well right but we can we can cool it with uh, with this since this is uh, this is kind of um, cold already And then we can just um, output it in there. Will the water steam up? Okay, let's see. So we can put, we can do iron to steel. But for that, we need refined carbon and lime. I don't have any refined carbon. Copper ore to copper, iron ore to iron. Extracts pure steel from iron. So what do I need for refined carbon? So this is graphite, liquid carbon, refined carbon. I could put coal in a kiln and make refined carbon. Okay. 125 kilograms of coal to make 100 kilograms of refined carbon in a kiln. Alright, so refinement, I need a kiln as well. And then I need the uh, the crusher to make um, all those eggshells into holy power, Batman. All right. Well, we don't need to make continuous steel. I just need enough to actually make a gas pump for now. Okay, let's get this connection back. All right, so we want to make uh, refined carbon. I'm going to just make like four of them. the heat ok 
Okay, and then it makes a piece of refined carbon that is uh, like 80 degrees. Okay, so... To make... Okay, yeah, and then we need to crush... Uh... Oh, where is it? Eggshell to lime. Forever. Well, at least it's nice and cool around here. Okay, we might need to get these guys going soon too. Is this guy just gonna deliver when it, when when they're when it's needed? Hopefully, it does. So the effects is gonna be a hundred kilograms of steel. I need 400 kilograms of refined carbon, though. Oh, no. How much does it actually need? 70. 20 and 10 to make 100. Okay, and then how much uh, do I need to make a, um, a pump? A gas pump out of steel. Is it just 50? So I just need to run this once. I can make two pumps with the output of this. Okay, let's see. Waiting for materials. You saw the auto sweeper hoover up and I some iron? It said that it didn't have anything in it, so it, it might be okay. breaks immediately. I don't think they can use it. I think it needs to be on its own uh, big um, big power thing, right? It's going to trip this one. It's 1,200. There's no other way for me to make steel. So, power, and I need a large power transformer, which I can make out of copper or iron. Oh, whoops. How the hell am I going to get... How am I going to get this down here? There's too many wires in the way. As it as it stands right now, there's way too many wires, right? I might have to... Um... Oh, I can't go down that way either. I can't really go up and around. I think I need to run... 
I probably need to run the big wire down this ladder, right, to an area where I can just have power transformers or just run heavy all the way. Um, how much does it need? 1,200? So what's that? Two coal generators? Maybe we can, uh, maybe we could do a bit of coal. Just run the power, like, right underneath it. Could just do this right and then I get two coal generators because we this thing doesn't need to be used that often right we just need a bit of steel right now Ethanol through a petroleum generator? Does that work? Alright. I might need to look into that. I, got, I have some ethanol, but I can make ethanol with uh, all this lumber, right? From these trees. It's a nice little system because you use polluted water to feed the trees. You get lumber that you can either use for power from these wood burners, or I guess making ethanol with it and but then also these guys can eat the trees and produce dirt for you so it's like pretty renewable right so this is enough power for this thing to actually work now Chlorine levels are still high, but not inside the uh, the base, at least. we got to move these gas tanks out of the base as well. I don't know why they're still in here, even. Um, no, we're not ignoring the heat. Oh, it's cooled down a lot in here. Look at this. I guess because um, it's uh, it's hit its um, maximum, right? It's not actually pumping anything else into here for now. Yeah, it's cooling down. Okay. Giso, look at this. Look at him go. Didn't even break a sweat. Look at that. We got some steel. Oh my god. That's great. Oh yeah, I'll uh, I'll disable these so they're not just uh, chugging for no reason now. Okay, so what we want to do now is make a gas pump out of steel. 
after we deconstruct this one. Alright, somebody's going to have to go in there and take the hit. In you go. Whoa. <laughs> it's too hot. Here we go. Just the man. <laughs> Quickly, get out of there. She's going to blow. Okay, gas pump. Steel. Ah, he's barely injured. It's fine. He'll be fine. It's it's still overpressured. So, as soon as this is done, we uh, we hop out of there and then profit, right? Look who it is. Look who's coming to do the delivery. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Okay, we still got fifty. Uh, we got we still got fifty steel left over. If we want to build something else, be good. Captain Payne. Good job. Okay, let's lock this now. So this thing... Oh yeah, look at that. I think we should shield from the vent some insulated tile for the pump. I think it'll be okay. I think it, overheat temperature is 275. I don't think it's going to go above 275, right? Well, I hope it doesn't anyway, but I mean at least we're at least we're storing some uh some some stuff now, right? Some hydrogen Okay, good. So that means that potentially we could uh, pump this water out with the same here, with a, uh, a steel water pump. But I don't really want to pump out 100 degree water. I think this once this thing goes dormant, we can uh, revisit this and try to figure it out. And that might be a bit better. Yes. Look at this. Look at all this hydrogen. What's happening? It's all locked up. Uh, we'll try to vent the whole thing out. This thing's idle but not uh, dormant. Oh. You want some copper ore? Vomiter, ugly crier, and vomiter. Cooking, tidying, doctoring, uncultured, and early bird. This one is dormant. Okay, good. Let's get this one analyzed then. And then let's get a, uh, a pump built in here as well. This one doesn't need to be made of anything special. This could just be made of some uh, copper. It's fine, right? Good job, Jesus Crust. In Jesus we we crust. In God we crust, Jesus. Oh, what? 
We want that guy to go in there and uh, do the analysis, right? Still. Great. Still going. 67 degrees? Nowhere near overheating? Look at all this hydrogen. It is warming up in here again, though. It's going just over 200, 250. I don't think we needed to fire these things. Um, enabled by auto... Disabled? Enabled. Okay, so basically this... These won't fire until the, uh, until the battery really gets low. And that will mean that we've run out of hydrogen. So maybe that just works. This is just a good backup. We have just as much, um, actually, no, we lack a little bit, because it's 800, 800, right? And these are three. So we'd actually need to get um, a couple more. This gas pump is still not even at 100 degrees, though, despite um, it being quite hot down here. It looks like a lot of the heat goes here and then it loses a bunch of heat as it rises. So maybe this will just work. Look at that. We've almost got a full tank. That's great. That'll see us through for quite some time. And uh, we're crushing up all of these eggshells that we've got and making uh, lime, which is pretty good. You made me dinner, a tomato butter bean curry with flatbread on the side. I made the paste from scratch. Don't let it go cold. Holy crap. Thank you so much, duckers. I can't wait to uh, not eat that and then just eat um, an Easter egg instead. And then cough without covering my, my mouth and then sneeze without covering my mouth. Fart a little. Poop. Just squirt some, a little bit of poop in my pants. A little tiny bit of poop. Okay, this, this is great. 100 degrees. No problem for our steel pump. And actually, look at... Uh, we're going to suck all the hydrogen out of here. This is still not dormant. Jesus crust is still analyzing this uh, monstrosity up here, which is now dormant. Good time to do some analysis. Okay, great. That's good. Alright. Is there anything else that we need to... Um need some steel for it urgently no i suppose not i guess we just really want to get um some more of this liquid pumped into uh do you need some more polluted water we'll need to top up with polluted water fairly regularly i think it might be worth um once this is closed off we've got the filter set up here but maybe actually we just need um a couple of filters down here to separate stuff out. So like we could put it through water for because there is going to be some normal water in here too, right? There's brine, there's polluted water, and then some somewhere along here there will just be normal water, I think. Unless maybe no, there's ethanol and water. The ethanol we can start gathering up maybe look into petroleum generators for ethanol. We got so much lumber.
We got a bunch of ethanol in bottles here too. Man, Jesus Christ, can you hurry up? Is that possible? Could you please? I guess we've got to wait for a lot of this to melt, though, too. Which is going to take um, a long time. But we're going to need some polluted water before it all melts. There might be some more vents down here, I don't know. I'm sure there's some polluted... Well, how do these... Uh, how does the supply teleporter work? This has a conveyor chute, so you can't send liquid back, right? It's uh, it can It can only be, like, solid things. How would I get a whole bunch of polluted water back here? Or you can't. Oh, you can. Oh, it does liquid and gas as well? Okay, cool. Oh, it's all types? Every type has a port? A machine capable of tell I should just looked actually a machine capable of teleporting liquid, solid, and gas resources to another asteroid. Holy shit! So, on uh, Crudini, if if there's uh, any liquid, we could bring it all back here and process it potentially, and then uh, save a little bit of water for some oxygen generation over there too. We can send back all of the uh, all of the the sewage, the toilet water. <laughs> Hopefully there's some leakage over there. God, yeah. Look at this! It's all gone! There's no hydrogen left. I can't believe it. Okay, let's cut this here and then let's start let's use this supply for now right um this uh vent is uh over pressure sadly if we get a little bit of plastic we might be able to make the uh, the the bigger vent, right? How much plastic do we need for a big vent? A high pressure gas vent? Fifty kilograms, and then two hundred kilograms of refined metal. Probably get fifty kilograms from the ladders. I'd have thought, right? No, probably not, right? How much? How many kilograms of plastic in in one ladder? Oh, we can't, we don't have demolition either. Okay, so no plastic. So we'd have to get, um, we'd have to get some of those, those Drecos, right? I guess we're going to need some plastic before long anyway, right? I have a couple of eggs. I just don't know what, uh, I think they need hydrogen, don't they? Oh, look, this thing's erupting again. Well, this gas pump's getting hot. It all of a sudden is so hot in here. <laughs> it's like over it's like over 300 degrees. This thing might actually break. I think it will overheat. It it's meant to it's meant to output at wow, look at this cubist knit suit. Who wants this? Beard daddy. You got it. You're gonna look great in that. Well, oh, it's hot. It is hot. There's not much left in here. 
so it'll be it'll be vacuum and then um and then just 500 degree hydrogen gas which is going to send this thing into meltdown i think even though it's made of steel Well, that's close. But at least we got a bunch of uh, hydrogen out. Like, we almost filled the whole tank here. And did we finish this guy? So close. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Why does it take so long? What is taking so long? Can you do it faster? Maybe. Ooh, grub fruit. Look at this. It's ready to harvest. I don't even know if we can get it in there. We can rummage in here. We can empty this storage and inspect. We can inspect this as well. have a rummage. Look at all these um, these discs. What's the heat like in here now? That's hot. Although it is it is showing some signs of cooling. If we suck all the gas out of this room... Look, we're getting there. Look, there's a couple of spots. It's just because of this uh, vent pressure here, but we can fix that, right? By... Building up a bit? Dropping a hey look, there's some natural ones here. All right, so these guys need um, They want to either eat pinch of pepper plants balm lily or mealwood and uh, And the way that these guys work is so we can get reed fibers from these guys from shearing them as well without needing the swampy Biome, but there's the uh, there's the smooth ones that you can shear for plastic as well, right? So these these guys might be a good one so shearable reed fiber. Um, it's they just um, where they live is kind of weird though, right? It needs to be kind of hot, and um, they need they need some hydrogen gas in order to um, for it to grow. So do they need to be in a in a room of? Uh, of like all hydrogen basically and then they can eat some pinch of pepper plants and it's mealwood for the plastic ones we gotta we have to we have to master um, a Dreco farm right we got we gotta build a good one so that we can get some reeds and plastic, we need both. Just have a separate room to get eggs and then a hydrogen room to shear them. All right. We 
But you just need access to a hydrogen area within a room. So we could maintain, like, instead of a long room, we could have, like, a high room. Because they can climb up the walls and stuff, right? And the glossy ones eat mealwood? Liquid phosphorus, well. Wow. All right, well, we've done good to get this uh, hydrogen out of here. This gas pump. We could use this uh, this other thing, um, potentially, right? The conduction panel carries liquid, allowing extreme temperature exchange with overlapping buildings. We could put this uh, we could put this thing in here, right? Because if this is in a vacuum, we could cool it down. So we just want to cool it down. We just want to delete uh, the heat from this pump every once in a while, right? This is idle. Is this done? Yes. Okay, let's sweep this up. So this thing uh, will next be active in 43 cycles. It's active for 55.2 cycles every 117.4 cycles. Okay. Great, I guess. Pinch of pepper plant needs polluted water as well, doesn't it? If we want to grow that. Mealwood does not. Mealwood just needs dirt. Right? We're still not in a total vacuum yet. There's still a bunch of chlorine and other crap to get out of here. But it looks like we're just going to be left with carbon dioxide soon. Because we we can vent some of this stuff out. And then once we get rid of all this carbon, then we'll be in a vacuum, right? Until it erupts with more hydrogen. But the problem with it being in a, in a vacuum is that it has nowhere for its heat to go. So we'll have to... We'll have to try to cool it every once in a while. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, the pump... The pump did cool down a little tiny bit actually, and now it's heating up again. Maybe it'll be all right. I don't know. Maybe it just balance out. I, although it is getting hot again now. It seemed to spike just over 200 and now is dropping again. The hydrogen... This hydrogen gas is at 250. How's the pump doing? 185. I guess there's not enough of it. It's like a it's like a very small amount, so it's not enough to like fully heat it up. Okay, maybe it'll just be fine. It seems to just kind of regulate itself around 200.
But the door is is cooling a little bit. It was a lot hotter. These things are quite hot too. The hydrogen inside. Uh, look at this. Uh, look, it's got a vacuum around it already. It's. I love I love this game. I, I love all this. I don't understand a lot of it, but it is a, it is really fun to tinker around with, isn't it? It is it is great. Okay, we just want to pick up this disc, and then we can close this off, and then this thing is ready to go um, when it's next uh, active. Alright, Chad, I gotta go. Let me just check this and then I'm going. Aluminum? I'll take 100 kilograms of aluminum. For now. Saving! Thank you, chat. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry, I, I have to go. It's late, though. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Wednesday? I'm here. I'll be here. Have a nice evening yourself, Dowie. Thanks so much. Listen, uh, we got a lot done. We almost lost the colony and then uh, kind of bounced back a little bit. And uh, we seem to be stable for now. We just got uh, hydrogen power up and running. And it seems to be working. And uh, we just need to figure out where we can get some more polluted water from so that we can keep um, feeding not only that farm, but I think we're going to get some, uh, some, some of those uh, Drekos. So we'll work on that tomorrow. Yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for the uh, support as well. I appreciate it. Thanks for the subs, resubs, gift subs, donations, supers. Thanks for watching on both YouTube and Twitch. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have a good one. And uh, I'll, be, uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll do some more then. Yes. All right, chat. LOL. Lots of love. See you then. Peace. Bye now. Bye.